Okay then, let's see if we can... Turn these down. Do a bright lower color though. There we go. There we go. Hello. 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 Okay, well, let's uh hope that this test works out. Right now, uh you should maybe be hearing this audio only in one ear hopefully that's not the case let's make sure i'm not monitoring anything or making sure anything isn't coming out uh i'm okay you guys should be hearing the game as well through the speakers here let's uh grab this and take a swing hello okay so yeah we're gonna turn this back down to like 15.2 see everything's going here Okay, everything should be fine, but if you do notice any mic issues, it's because I'm still trying to figure out the new XLR setup. Uh, I only go in, got it going into the left side, which will make it naturally be heard in the left. And I'm trying to figure out a way to make it to where you guys can hear it in both ears. Um, I was listening to my audio, and it seemed I could hear it in both ears, but I'm not too sure if that's just me. <laughs> but I'm not too sure if that's just me. <laughs> I mean, I think I am. I think I am. So, for now, I'll go under the assumption that I am until I watch it after. But hopefully everything is fixed. Let's make sure our in-game settings match our capture card. Oh. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Okay, much better. I think we're being forced to use 1080 because of the capture card. No! Go back now. Hmm. We obviously want to limit the FPS, but I don't know if we need the V-Sync on right now. Because that's that limits it too. Okay, well, we'll figure out exactly what we need to do there. I need to get... Wait, 44? Whoa! What is going on? I was not level 44. Should have recognized it from my gear. Was I level 44? No, I was not. No, I was not. Where is my save? No way. Did I lose all my save progress? Wait, oh, shadow for, oh, oh, these are, oh, these are shadows from the east. Wait. Wait, no. No, 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 no. I don't think it's saved. No way. No. No, 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 no. This is 70 hours. Where's the extra 20?
No way. Come on, really? I'm like, I, no, no, I, I'm pretty sure it just lost 20 hours of save. Like, I don't, I don't know. It, it's, it's saved over something. I think. Forty six right here. Forty six. I think I found it. It does sound better, yeah. I, I put some compression on, uh, I put the noise gate on, I put everything on it that I needed. It's not really the closest it could be, to be honest. Like, I'm supposed to be like here. Honestly, can you hear on both sides right now? Like, can you hear the audio on both sides? That's the biggest issue I'm trying to figure out. One sec. Make room! Make way! Make way! Okay, uh, I ended up kicking it off for a sec. Okay, yeah, there should be a slight static noise when I speak. Unfortunately, I can't get rid of that. I just messed with cord. Tell me if there's any audio sound that's messing up. Uh, I mean, the only way to get rid of that is if I try to mess with a filter here. Let's go to gain and turn it down to, say, three. Okay, uh, how does my sound, uh, my mic sound now? Like, when I'm swinging around, like, is it matching up with the game? Is it sounding fine? I want my mic to be able to be heard over the game smoothly, you know what I mean? So, I'm just swinging around doing some random shit right now. You know, just some random in-game stuff while I talk randomly. So, hopefully it's sounding fine still. This is literally all just testing purposes while I also possibly hit it. Sounds perfect like this? No? Okay, okay, so let's put that there then. Okay, so it is working in both ears though for you, right? Like that problem is solved. Okay, that's good. That's how I wanted it. I I got it, by the way, guys. I didn't lose my save. Dude, I ain't gonna lie. I was losing my shit in my head. I was not gonna continue. Like, I was literally, I was like, I want to play Fate of Atlantis, but I do not want to fucking go through 20 hours that I lost. Like, I did, I did not want to keep doing that because that 20 hours is a lot of work, especially with all the choices I made and everything I did, all the leveling, the skills I chose, like, everything I did. Like, no way. No. I was not happy. I was so pissed. I was, I could not even explain how angry I was. I just didn't realize that the manual save was so far down the list. I was, I was so pissed and I was so distraught. I gotta do the Gates of Atlantis, but I'm not level 50 yet. And I want to get to level 50 before I fight Medusa. Because I have her there waiting for me. She's level 50. I want to get to at least the same level. 
so I can get there. I know that when there's an option at the beginning main menu that it gives you to skip to the fate of Lannis, and it gives you a generic random character, randomly generalized everything, uh, and you start at level 52, so I'd like to be 52 before going in. So I can hunt down, obviously, the extra people here. Let's see, remnant from the ancients. Yeah, so I'll talk to this blacksmith up here because he's going to give me the first blade. So yeah, I initially had it in the first part of stream, Emilio. I had the stream using the CPU, <coughs> oh, sorry, and the uh, recording would have been using the uh, graphics card. But I switched it to where they both use it as well. So hope we're gonna test it. I'm gonna start recording it as well. I'm not really like trying to record this as I wanted to. I do wish I kept with this so I could have recorded from start to finish. You know, I would have liked that, but there's too many circumstances that bounce between it. Yes, I could have kept it for, say, boss fights. Yes, I could have kept it for other things. It's just, this is a more of a personal game rather than anything. I really wanted to play this, and I know I could have benefited probably from it by doing certain things, but I just felt like my time for it was missed. Game's been out for two years now, even if the expansions have just recently fixed itself, but I just, I, I wanted to do it for myself. And it, with the time between the episode 15 and me having to catch up to my PlayStation counterpart, I just, I didn't want to do it, you know? So right now, I also don't have V-Sync on right now with my, what I'm planning right now. So, let's see. And also, Emilio, I'm pretty sure that I can't, I'm not, I'm not playing this in 4K either, Emilio. Which means that, one second. There we go. No, no, you lost me on purpose. I, I stopped the stream. Okay, so right here you can see the settings. If I'm putting this into a 1080 capture card, it forces my main screen to 1080 resolution, Emilio. So I can't play 4K. Yeah, I know. I, I can't play 4K right now if I decide to record a stream through this method. So unfortunately, I can't do that. And it's not like I can, I can really utilize anything with this. I mean, I'm limiting the frames and everything like that. So, I, I don't think I'll need this, but I'll turn the adaptive on. I, I don't think I'll need it at all. It, I could definitely tell, it definitely looks more dull compared to 4K. But I do think that this, this game has a lot of uh, optimization issues like i think the textures in the world could be a lot better and what do you mean might be the best method welcome i'd be half sorry to disappoint what the i've already talked to you a lot whoa that looks pretty dope olympian gift for 20. i only got enough for that anyways what do you get me ew oh what a waste should kill you for that. Oh, who are you? Copies or Cofinos? What do you need? Oh, having two PCs is best set up. Like yeah. I just got to get the 4K capture card Zeus installed so I can actually play 4K. Do you know what this is? <laughs> Broken? It's adamantine. This stuff is priceless. And I don't mind telling you, I'm the one man in the islands who knows how to properly work it. I'll need more adamanti to fix it, though. I, I oh, the blade? More. Is that the smith? Will this help? This metal looks similar. What the? Where in Hades are you getting this stuff? No, I, I don't want to know. Is this enough to repair the sword? I wish I could say yes, but then I'd be lying. 
Bring me more, and I'll make you a sword fit for a god. What is he making me? Who the hell is this guy? Is that the quest? Oh, it is. Assisting all members of the Order of Dominion. Assisting all members of the Order of Dominion. I have to kill all of these guys? Do I know where all of them are? Yeah, it's the hidden blade. Oh, no. I was at the right cult. cult. Wait, no. I was at the wrong one. Ancients. Wow, th this expanded. One, two, three, four, five. So there's five of them left. <clears throat> Fuck it. I don't I don't want to do it. I'll do you later. I got plenty of time to hunt down the people for my family. Okay, so we'll do some Lost Tales. The more character stuff. Mm. Oh my god, I wasn't live. Were you supposed to be live? Meet our old friend, Anais, at her farm in the forest of Sorin in Arcadia. There. Actually, this looks like it's closer right here. You weren't live with me? What do you mean you weren't live with me? Oh, okay, I got what you mean. Oh, also, when I first started the stream, I had it in 4K downscaling to 1080, even though it was originally in 1080, so it was upscaling to 4K to downscale to 1080, and I was just like, why am I doing that if it's forcing me at 1080? <laughs> I don't know, I buffered and it put me seconds past. Oh, that's weird. But yeah, this is now high profile, high processing priority, Max quality recording and stream. This is the best of the best that I can get with stream settings. I mean, I could try pushing past medium. I mean, you know what? Why not? I'm going to stop the stream once again and then try to do it. Ready? You know, push the stream? Wait, do it, push stream. Oh, okay. Uh, never mind. It, this is already the max of what it can be. I went in and I was like, okay. Actually, there's one thing I could... Oh, I Okay, I'm back back. This is the last change. This is the best I can make it Right now Oh shit wrong way Oh shit. Nope After seeing that video on the HDR monitors, uh, I really want one <laughs> Also, uh, in tandem with that, oh, tell me if you see, notice any screen tear or anything else like that. Um, in tandem with that, there is something that oh. I need to figure out. Was gonna bring it up to you, Emilio. Um, yeah. what was it? Something. Yeah. Something. It just looks fuzzy. Oh, try refreshing. Mm. 
not 100% clear right now? Oh, okay. Let me... Okay, so I, I switched back to the other setting I had for Lance Coasters instead of Bicubic. So it should be exactly the way it was before. Yeah, it should be exactly how it was before, Off Emilio. There was a setting, something I was trying to figure out. I had something I was thinking about needing help with, but I'm not too sure what it was anymore. 1080p looks like trash! <laughs> looks better? Okay, yeah, I'll keep it on that then. Oh, I walked right into a bear. So I want to get to 50, and that will allow me to play the Atlantis, or at least fight the- Oh, shit! Ah, oh, fuck! Oh, no, shit! <laughs> I, I do appreciate it. Thank you. So I'm recording at the same time right now, and I'm recording at 85,000 megabytes. Or kilobytes, so it'd be 85 megabytes. Per second. <laughs> Which is the recommended 4K bitrate for uh, 4K on YouTube. Because that's the max limit. Like, if there's a minimum and a max of, like, what you'd want to be at. So, like, the best 4K quality you can get is 85,000 kilobytes. So, I'm at 85,000. So, I, I haven't checked out. Oh, I remember what it was. I haven't checked out what it looks like yet. But here's the thing, Emilio. Whenever I go to click on my recording, it says the format's not supported. But MP4 was supported before on the other one. So, I need to figure out why it's not letting me view my recordings. That's the thing I wanted to bring up to you. Well, yeah. I mean, that's the whole point of getting a terabyte. We, I knew this ahead of time. We knew this ahead of time. I already mentioned it. It's 340 hours of gameplay. You were always better with your fists than with your singing. I have no idea. And you're as beautiful I, I had as you one were on that Kefalonia. I tried checking. I was covered in mud half the time. Still am. Life of a farmer, I suppose. I got your note. How did you know I was in Arcadia? Everyone's hunting. I mean, it opens it up in multiple things, but I'll have to tell you after eagle. like the stream. So I arena. started a little hunt of my own. VLC. No matter where I used to hide on Kefalonia, you were the only one who could always find me. That's because you were terrible at hiding. Maybe you only found me because I wanted you to. Listen, we both know I was the one who was best at hiding. I'll prove it. Stay here. Close your eyes, and at the count of ten, come and find yeah, me. Yeah, I saw. I saw the message. You're joking. Come, it'll be like old times. 
And no using Icarus, that's cheating. Now, close your eyes. Anna, Dio, Tria, Tessera, Pende, Exi, Epta, Octo, Enea, Deca. Ready or not, here I come. Dieca. Eagle! Oh. Okay, I guess I actually have to find her. Oh, I'm not even trying it. There we go. Where are you? I will find you. Tee hee! So this is apparently like an old flame, I think? From when I was younger? Ah! Ha ha ha! This way. She's hit a hidden bush. Ah ha ha ha! Man. See, this is why I wasn't the first assassin. This is why I'm just the grandfather of the first. I'm better at fighting than I am with stealth. I like to kick the door in. Oh, you're not her. You just look like her. Did it show where she was? I wasn't looking. Oh, Lanta. <laughs> Man, I don't like the rice field. Wait, do I do the... Oh my god, I do do the walk from the movie where I put my hand through the grass. Ah, that's funny. Need some saving? What do you mean? Where the hell is she? I was never good at hide and seek. I was good at hiding. I wasn't good at seeking. If only I could, like, beat somebody in- Aha! Nope, I don't know what that was. Oh, I'm not even in the right area. What? What do you mean she- She's over in this area. Wait, back there- What?! Why is she not an assassin? <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> I'm actually not the best at saving people either. <laughs> Where the fuck are you? To stop being cute, the first 50 seconds I couldn't find you. Is she in a tree? Can I lose? Oh, I found her! You call this hiding? Your tracking skills have improved. They have not, I promise you. Well, I thought this game was silly then, and I still think it's silly now. <laughs> After all these years, you I haven't up. changed one bit. Oh, this is too much fun. I want to hear everything about your life from the day I left until now. And I want to hear about yours. No, my story would put you to sleep. Come, let's go to the beach and talk like we used to in Sami. My childhood friend's not as attractive as I would have liked. <laughs> we have the same horde! Let's call me! <laughs> So we're going to do like character stories and hopefully doing all the character stories will get us to level 50.
I wonder why you're hearing the audio in both ears now when I didn't do anything different before. Ah, oh, bedam. Sorry for that hiccup. Yeah, me either. I mean, if it's working, then it works. Careful, I don't want to have to kill a man. Oh, I'll be right there. Balance? What do you mean, balance? Bounces in the mic. Sorry, sorry. I was just checking to see if there's an eagle spot for a quick save here. Your life sounds so exciting. But there's something very important I need to know. Can you still hold your breath? My breath? I, I have no idea. I didn't change anything with the settings and deeper before. Than anyone else. You used to bring me the most beautiful treasures from the sea. Don't move. So these character stories are like, like I said, they're the more than side stories, but less than main quest type thing. Thank God those are dolphins. Oh, look, a whale. And that's a shark. I'm a fucking app. Sharks! I'm not good at underwater fighting! They might try to, you know. What do you mean, who might try? I don't- I have no context of what you mean by they won't try to. They might try to... Dol oh, dolphins! Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. They could. You were underwater so long, I was getting worried. A few sharks got in the way. Sharks? Nothing I couldn't take care of. I did manage to find you this. Oh, Alexios, it's beautiful. <laughs> Anais? What's wrong? Seeing you <laughs> playing and laughing like old times. There's something I haven't told you. I'm married. I see. I should have told you sooner. I'm sorry. Meet me back at the house. I'll explain everything. I wasn't... I mean, I, I tried to flirt at the beginning, but... <laughs> it may sound shallow, but that was before I saw what you looked like. <laughs> My apologies. My previous wife was much more adorable. Where the fuck am I? Hey, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I just played a game of tag. <laughs> I didn't want to. Where the fuck? Oh, do I have to? Uh. Where the fuck? Is it not gonna? I don't rem Okay. Uh, I'll try to find my way back to her place. It's not giving me a quest marker either.
No, oh, okay, okay. We'll look for a blue, maybe? There it is. Okay, weird. You can't track these blue ones. You have to see them on the map. How's the lighting look, by the way? <laughs> really, Emilio? High rate rates from dolphins? Hell, man. I just saw that it was blocked out. So I had to, like, let it go through. 1080 is ass. Look at I don't want to look that up, Emilio. <laughs> I'm scared to look that up. And yeah, I know, right? What you watched it at the other time yesterday was downscaled from 4K. But it was still 1080. Wait, are you being serious? Like, dolphins raping other dolphins? <laughs> Please tell me it's not the really creepy, weird one. Oh, I'm glad you came. So you're married. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Seeing you brought back so many fond memories. I wanted to live in them for as long as I could. Life's been hard since Danto. Yeah, so 4K downscale to 1080 is Once definitely better, started, huh? Spartans came for his sword. Don't, no, they do not. Get, get the fuck out of here. Leaving me to run the farm and raise our son. You have a son? Oh, I she's know. not technically I'd love married. I'd for you to meet him, but he's run off again. Why aren't we looking for him? He always goes to the same cave where he trains to be a mighty warrior. Training alone encourages bad habits. Yes, of course. You've given me an idea. You could talk to him. I could? <laughs> Gods know he doesn't listen to his boring mother. I don't want to learn you that. <laughs> you could convince him to stay away from fighting and help me here on the farm. All right. I'll talk to your son. Thank you. How should I introduce myself without scaring the boy? Tell him you're a friend of his mother's from Kefalonia, the one with the eagle. The stories I've told him about you are his favorites. I'll find Arion. My husband used to take him to the cave on hunts. They'd spend nights there. It's been taken over by wolves since then. Wait, did you say wolves? Yes, worries me sick. He calls them his friends and be believe careful, you might kick my ass. They seem protective of the boy. I need to like Please get on this damn them, Autobot. Arion would be devastated. I need to like get it to fucking stop doing it every time somebody swears. This is a mature ass channel. This ain't no Christian channel. Okay, he's in the northern part of Mount Beefloves. Sifus? Okay, yeah, so he's up here. Mount Sophus? With a silent P? That's probably it right there, the marker. I don't like 1080. 1080's ass. I'm gonna go back to 4K. Can't wait for Sunday. Praise Jesus. Forever Christian channel. No! This is... This is Satan's channel. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Hail forth all the religious crush down upon me. It should be somewhere up here. But my horsey didn't go off. The den of a lycon. Up here. Yep. Boop. There he is. 
Okay, we got some doggos in there. Well then, I'll try to capture the legendary one. They are not friendly. Oi! Whoa! <laughs> you look like a mighty warrior. And you must be Arion. I've come to bring you home. Why should I trust you? Because I kick your ass! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> your mother and I used to get into trouble back on Kefalonia. <laughs> We'd sneak into the markets, grab as much cheese and grapes and bread as we could carry. My eagle, Icarus, kept watch and warned us if there was anyone coming. You're Alexios, the eagle bearer? <laughs> Your mother trusted me with the very important task of escorting you home through this dangerous forest. But I don't want to leave. I know. You come here to be close to your father. You know nothing about my pater. You're right. Maybe you could tell me. I don't want to talk about him. I want to become a warrior. I understand. But first we need to leave this cave. The wolves are getting hungry. They never eat me. They're my friends. Um, yes. <laughs> Your friends. Let's go anyway. Your mother misses you very much. If I do, could you teach me to be a mighty warrior? We'll see. Now come. Let's go, child. Can you get on? Okay, whatever. You can run. This is training. <laughs> oh shit, he took my horse. <laughs> it's all fun and games until he steal each other's horse. <laughs> AKA cardio. <laughs> this is ninja warrior training. How's the concert going on? Or is it over? Okay, how was it? Ah, doggos! Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> there you both are. He killed my friends, Mater. Oi! Oh, Alexios, why? You told him about me, Mater. He knew things. I did. He got a shotgun at Monster 930. You, so you weren't scared of going with him. I you gotta be up past 930? I was brave. Thank you for bringing him home. What are you smiling about? I was just thinking about how I could possibly repay you for bringing Arion home to me. Oh, yeah? I'm sure I could think of a few things. <laughs> Name your price, Mistios. All this time together, and you haven't shown me where you sleep. Hey, what's up, Revere? How you doing? I'll show you a better spot. But hey! Be sleeping. <laughs> I'm about to get some punte. <laughs> okay. She may not be the best looking out there. She may not be more beautiful than my wife. Or Your past wife. Is insatiable. But man's got to get some, right? <laughs> you've awakened a part of me I thought I'd lost. I know you've already done so much for me. But if there's just one more thing you could do. 
I'm not sure I can stand up. Arion wants to be a mighty warrior, but I can't lose any more of my family to war. If Arion <laughs> learns to fight, he can protect you and the farm. I can't work this farm alone. He won't listen to me, but he looks up to you. I can see it in his eyes. <sighs> I'll talk to him, but I don't think he's as fond of me as you are. You flatter yourself. Just show him how to plant seeds, burn some old grass, maybe slaughter a few chickens. It will seem more exciting coming from you. I'm a fucking Mystios. I don't know how to farm. <laughs> I'm a mercenary for God's sakes. I've been killing since I was a kid. Hello, Arion. Go away. I'm not talking to uh, you. Actually, I just streamed to Twitch, you YouTube, to and talk. Mixer, but the main platform but is still you YouTube, hmm. just like normal. I lost my father when I was young. I ran far, far away. When I do any live my streams, it will be streamed to YouTube, Twitch, and Mixer at the same time. But one day, a bully threw a rock and nearly broke his wing. What did you do? Yeah, 1080 her is not uh, attractive. Can I hold it? You can, but first, I need you to do Yeah, I, uh, I thought Your I mentioned it last time, you. but just so you know now, yeah, I have the You're new Twitch. To be a and warrior? a mixer, a D Live. Uh, I have a Facebook page, a Discord, a Patreon, and every single thing that's live will always be Twitch, Mixer, YouTube, uh, D Live. Anything that's recorded will be YouTube, Facebook page, Patreon, and Discord. Your mother wants you to become a farmer, and that's what I'm going to teach you. But farming is so boring. I want to be a warrior like you. You're not Whenever my son. I see sunrise, I'm never sure I'll get to see it set. I walk away from the people I love knowing it might be the last time I ever see them again. Is that the life you want? Good. Now follow me. Ever heard of the poet? Jesus, Jesus. my bad. No. But I know Homer and Achilles. Oh my god, we are farmers. Dun 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 dun. Study Homer if you want to learn to put people in the ground. But study Asiodos and you'll learn to grow things out of it. Boring. And now we're going to burn some bushes. Why? For new life to grow, we need to clear away the old. Why? Because they choke the earth, uh, stopping the new plants from growing. Why? Because. Test them up. <laughs> now I'm going to show you how to kill a chicken. But I love chickens. If you're going to feed your family, you're going to have to sacrifice a few chickens. You don't have to kill any today, but watch carefully how I do it. Clean and precise. Ew. Where's the damn chicken? <laughs> Crocky, right there be a chicken. <laughs> ah! Punch the chicken. What happened to the bully whose fingers you cut off? He went and got his brothers. They beat me pretty badly. You didn't have any friends to protect you? Not until one little girl stood between me and those boys. That bitch was so the rage of Ares, <laughs> Yeah, it was, yeah, it was. To leave me alone. Really? A girl? Who? That little girl was me. Mater, Alexius taught me how to be a farmer, but you could teach me how to be brave. Maybe one day I will. Yeah. He taught me about Isiavos. He taught me to burn the old, because it soaks the new. And then he killed a bunch of chickens. <laughs> it sounds like you both had a productive day. <laughs> Your boy is a fast learner. Thank you. This means the world to me. Wow, <laughs> oh, this is a nice this is a pretty long quest around, line. Alexios, but I feel bad. All these years apart, and you've spent most of your time with Arion. Let's get away from all this, just you and me. There is a market in the year. I haven't been to in ages. There's food and wine and music. 
An evening alone sounds perfect. But what about Arion? Don't worry about him. All you need to worry about is meeting me in Tayer. I should find out what Anais likes before our evening together. Okay, never mind. I guess I'm investigating the property to find out what she likes. Can I kick the door in? Is that... Knock, knock! Oh, oh wait. Okay, can't go through that door. Is there an actual... Oh, okay, it's outside. Anais must have a lifetime supply of olives stashed here. So this is where Anais keeps her wine. Excuse me. Smells strong. I'm getting lightheaded just sniffing it. Get out of my way, I'm, I'm doing shit. Sorry. Uh, uh, yeah! Nothing? Really? Aha! Oh wait, was that nothing? Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. never told me she made honey. Come on, Phobos. <laughs> Wait, is that my new uh, Phobos skin? No, no, that was. Traveler's horse. I can never break Nima's bow because it's a memento to my uh, previous wife. What do you say when they die? <laughs> My previous wife? Late wife? Ah, oh, there we go. Late wife. Oh, yeah, and I was actually married to her, Emilio. What the fuck? My bitch, that's what I say. To your late wife or to the new girl? This is the childhood friend that I'm just visiting and, you know, snagging when I can for as a benefit. I'm not going to settle into a relationship with her, though. I would. I like Nima a lot. I I feel like they could have done it more emotionally, though. Like, There's definitely like times this I feel like they could have done even more emotionally. They're drawn out more cutscenes, you know? Ah, shit. Hit the mic. And there's no, like, auto sprint with the horse. You just gotta wait till the horse wants to start sprinting again. So I have to believe that there's some kind of, like, stamina bar when you're not on a road or some bullshit. Don't like having that. Oh, there we go. That works. There you are. Now, let's find something to eat and drink, shall we? The merchants have the most delicious selections. And tonight, I'll leave the decision making to you. Yay! Beef jerky. Please. from the markets of Kefalonia. We could steal from this one, for old time's sake. Oh, always the troublemaker. Where are you going? That's a lot. Oh! You just somehow saved the wine, but okay. Welcome, my friends. 
I have a wonderful selection of wines for you and the lovely lady. Only the finest grapes from the finest vineyards. Do you prefer your wines dry, sweet, or strong? You've been all over the world. She prefers it strong. All the best wines. This woman is a single mother who runs her own farm. She likes her wine strong. <laughs> you know me too well. Strong wine is the best wine. Hell yeah. <gasps> what about the wine? Hey, what's up? How are you doing, Jay? Oh. Smells so delicious, my mouth is watering. <gasps> Smell that? That's the tastiest food in all of the year. Tell me, what will it oh, be? Yeah, man. We have leg of lamb with rice and olives, roast chicken with fresh vegetables, and slow cooked goat stew. Nothing you can do? Oh, decisions, decisions. I mean, obviously, other than hanging out here. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember! Oh shit, we're going with yeah, we're going with slow cooked goat. This will be tasty, I'm sure. I only wish it came with olives. Damn, I missed it. Oh well, I'm not trying to romance her. Oh yeah, do you know when it's gonna be popping up? Oh dude, I'm excited for Valhalla. Yes I am. I want that game. Oh, I can't tell you how much I needed this. Right now I'm uh busy paying off all the pay, uh, computer parts. So that'll be probably one of the next things I pre-order. So that'd be something that'd be great. Right now, all funds go to paying that off. And then after that, I will be getting Valhalla. I'll be getting the gold edition with the season pass. I won't be getting the ultimate. Welcome, welcome. If you've got sweet teeth, then I've got sweet treats for those teeth. What will it be? Grape pudding with walnuts, fresh strawberries with cream, or baked pears with a honey glaze? Oh, yeah, how's that going? Yum! Choose wisely. Oh, yes, yeah, so you were able to grab it eventually, right? That's good. Strawberries and ice creams. Oh, this is fine, I suppose. Nothing's as sweet as honey, though. I totally knew that she had honey, but because I was distracted by conversation, I chose what I wanted. This was lovely. Tonight was almost nice. perfect. Yeah, I figured that you were going to grab it. I didn't know if you actually wanted missing. it after that. That's so why I was like, yeah, just mention whenever you do it so that I at least know and then tell me. Did I did I say at the end of it it was like did I say like Oh I was selling it, right? I did sell it, right, Jay? Like I said like eighty to hundred or did I just give it away? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I sold it, but I don't remember what I did. Bandits! They came and took everything. Oh yeah, that's nice. What games you got? But they were too big. Yeah, I can't really remember. I thought I did, I but have tried to fight I can't really them. remember. Anything they took can be replaced. But I can't replace you. This wouldn't have happened if you had trained me to be a warrior. He'll be all right. Just a few scratches. Just a few scratches? You could have been killed. You think I don't know that? Every time he leaves the house, I worry about him being killed. And every time he comes home, I'm just grateful he's alive. You truly are one of the strongest people I know. Alexios, there is something I need to tell you. Anything. Having you here was the first time I felt joy since my husband died. I hoped oh, you nice. were still the same person I loved back on Kefalonia. And that if you felt the same, there'd be a place for you here. Anais. The fact that you listened to me and didn't teach Arion to fight shows me you're someone I can trust. I would love it if you stayed with us. Yeah, that's true. 
I care about you and your son. But I'm a mercenary. It's what I do. That's nice. Life on the farm just isn't for me. <laughs> Sorry, I nice. understand. You're not for me. Just know that whenever you are in Alcavia, you'll always be welcome here with open arms. <laughs> Yay! I got a backup wife. <laughs> Okay, now we want to go to, let's see, a poet, an artist, an actor. Let's go to the actor. I feel like that might be interesting. And Thespis. Where is Thespis? Wait, is that Thespis? No, that's Thassos. Uh, stream doing better, now you're home. What, what do you mean? Like, is my quality doing better? Or is, uh, what do you mean? You and Emilio speak in, like, broken English. <laughs> it's like, because, like, I'll say something, I'll already be on, like, the next thing. And so I, like, won't know what you're mentioning. Just in general, like, uh, well, I finally got partnered with YouTube. Setting the stage, I believe that's it. No, it's the show must go on. Show must go on. Thank you. Um, I got the, com like, pretty much, not all the computer parts, but I got a majority of what I need to be, ooh, what's this? What is this? Oh, image, oh, it's an image of the day. Oh, wow, that actually does look pretty good. What the fuck is this? this? Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm just waiting on the 4K capture card to come in so I can play 4K, then downscale 4K to 1080 and send that out in a stream. Where the fuck is this place? Hey, what's the sh Wait, the show must go on. Setting the stage. Image of the faith. Where, oh, where could you possibly be? Where, oh, where could this be? I have no idea where to go. Where, oh, where should I go? Ah, is this it? No, that's a poet. A poet's legacy. It's got to be here. It's got to be... Oh, wait, wait. Right there. I think it showed it. The show must go on. It was the fucking title right above it. This is so expensive. I saw it like... The 4K Elgato is actually only $250. But you need, to, you need hardware that can run 4K. You know, and a monitor that can see in 4K. It'll give you the resolution of 4K. And it's not an easy thing getting it to, like, well, not, it's easy if you have the money, but it's not cheap getting you to a point where you can get to 4K and then still be able to play it. I've definitely put like more than a couple, uh, definitely put at least a couple thousand into my stream setup. At least. Ah, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, ah, ah! I didn't mean it. I didn't know I can go in there.
Yeah, I mean, if you get a regular capture card, you could do 1080, but I mean, 1080 isn't really the best looking. I mean, obviously it's the norm, but I still prefer to do like a downscale 1080 from 4K to 1080. Look at all these people. What do they need in their lives? Some excitement, a little magic. And you think you can deliver that? Magic. Thespis, are you acting in another play? Ali, Alo, Alexios, Aristophanes' friend, and my friend too. I'd be nowhere without your support. I suppose that, if well, I yeah, hadn't carried true, you but... out, you might still be in that tavern. On the floor! Thespis had this brilliant idea to put on a play in this town. He's got a reputation as a great actor, so I thought, this could be a huge success. I'm beginning to think I thought wrong. No, no, everything is under control. You keep an eye on the ticket sales, my darling Rodanti, and my friend Alexios will take care of everything else. I promise you, I know nothing about theater. Don't be so modest. You'll be known as the hero who made... Leonidas and his 300 Spartans, the play of the century. The play is about King Leonidas. You know, my family... Your family can come, of course. I'm sure they'll be proud to see you. Just help me tell Thanks, the glorious douche. hero's tale. The only one of my family that's alive is that. Uh... I'll help Thespis put on the play. The story of Leonidas must have its due. Very well, then. I expect you to deliver. So what do you need done? Bring wine. Not oh shit, me, yeah. I also uh, unlock super so chats you on YouTube. So the audience won't listen to the uh, tale Jay. of Leonidas unless they're drunk? They won't be drunk, just appreciative. Well, 4K always makes things uh, look better than its original, because you can see more, but it's not going to make it look like modern day. Like, it won't change the whole resolution to, like... If it's like a pixel game, it ain't gonna be like 3D. <laughs> I'll take care of everything. But it does make things look better than if you're just playing it on a regular 1080 monitor. Obviously, you get more benefits from modern day games. Uh, the gold comment? What do you mean? That thing on YouTube. What thing on YouTube? I don't know what that thing is. What super chat? Is that what you're saying? Oh, uh, super chat is like a way for like. Say there was, well, let's just exclude if people who just want to donate or just want to do it. Uh, it's generally if there's a lot of people or anything, you could like donate and then your donation will also be like uh, strapped to the top of the chat as well for everyone to see, etc. With like a specific message for me and stuff like that. It can help like separate those who like want to donate and then get their voices heard even more. I mean, you could use it normally, like a person could just use it to donate normally, but... It's just another cool thing that comes with being partnered. Okay, the wine is located in the region of Ellis, center of Raxis's Point. Okay, right here. It's being kept at that place. We're gonna have to go steal it. <laughs> yeah, we might as well go down this road because otherwise we're just gonna have to hop down the side. We still have to go all the way over there. The leader's there, too. Hmm. 
Look at that, there's a road leading right up. Ah, uh, shit, I hit the mic. Tell me if there's any feedback. I accidentally hit the mic. What do you mean, Christina got the house? The good wine should be in that fort, if the officers haven't drunk it all already. There it is. Who's Christina again? Your ex? Or your current? I I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on with that. It's been a hot second. My newest ex. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. It's so hard to follow sometimes. That must be the good wine Thespis mentioned. Oh, but it smells awful. I should try it. Ugh, this tastes like horse peas. I can't serve this. There must be something better nearby. The Wine Society invitation is in your inventory. Okay. Those who appreciate the finer qualities of wine should join us in the underground storage for a tasting event. Don't tell the officers. Okay. Oh, there. How do I get there? There we go, that was safe. Ah! <laughs> you gonna get the new GTA when it comes out? Or are you just gonna wait on that? Well, there's nothing here. What the hell, man? Hmm. 
I don't really know. Whoa, whoa, oh, wait. It could just be them, right? This wine must be good. I should get back to Thespis. Well, might as well fucking finish it. This wine must be good. I should get back to Thespis. Excuse me. Thank you. It's my wine, bitch. Oh, okay, I can't I can't actually ride my horse with the wine That's unfortunate uh, I don't know I think if we're gonna talk about GTA I and we're talking about strictly crime and Like it being good. I think GTA kind of went way too far They have way too much that's just added just for fucking shits and giggles like I liked it at the beginning. The story was great. There was obviously some shits and ghouls around the way, but it was just part of the story. Whereas now there's like Tron races, random fucking races, like regular races that have all these fucking like customizable things like that. And like, I don't like that. Like I would have much rather preferred it sticking to like a more serious area rather than all this goofy shit that's in it. I don't, I don't like that. I don't, I don't think that honestly that statement can work with GTA five anymore at all maybe when it first came out and then first did online maybe but i do not think that we can use gta as uh the top or anywhere near there for a crime state of game i think payday does a way better version of it and i think the base story for gta does yeah i do not think that can be held true as the game is right now and i'm not just saying because of like development or anything like that but it's also because of the fact that I just I think it lost sense of itself. It just did whatever the hell it could to just keep people's interest. And I don't like all this extra bullshit that was added to it. That has nothing to do with the game's story. And it very loosely is based on criminal things. I just, I, I don't like it. Hey, what's up? How you doing, Eskra? Yeah, I definitely th say they'd be going down the road of Saints Row. I definitely did not like how silly Saints Row got or anything, but they're definitely on that line. Uh, I thought Saints Row 1 and 2 was going to be able to become a heavy competitor with GTA. And then it became 3 and then 4. And 5 is probably going to be even more ridiculous. So, I don't know. Yeah. So I have uh, low hopes for GTA 6, anything other than the story. Like, the story, okay, yeah. Uh, 3 wasn't bad, but it also just... That's where, like, I started losing interest. But I do have the collection. I do want to play through just because my story can go through. And just because they were, like, $2 for, like, each of them at one time. So I got them. But I'm not a whole fan of silly type games. I don't like that. I actually really like GTA 5's story. I thought it was the best story yet. And it's a lot better than the online in terms of like seriousness and feeling like it's wine. not just loosely Wonderful. thrown in there for fucks and shits Our and giggles. Our guests will be in a fantastic mood before the play even starts. I sampled the wine. It's excellent. I'll try selling tickets in the better part of town. Our wealthy patrons won't be disappointed. 
So when will I be able to see this play? Well, there is a little. I'd rather it be more serious. The cast. Finding them, I mean. You've lost your actors. None of them showed up at the last rehearsal, and the time before that, they seemed terribly discouraged. Someone might have been too harsh with them. No one will get paid if they don't come back. Exactly. There's three of them in all. They're playing Ephialtes, Xerxes, and the Enikis. I can give you an idea of where they might be. So, who's playing Leonidas? I am, of course. I trust no one but myself to carry this starring role. I hope the actors turn up. So, yes. Xerxes should be sniffing around the Dysfontian ruins. Got it. The Anikis is probably in over his head, gambling in the great square here in Elise. Understood. Mm, I don't know. From what My I remember of it, I spent enough time with it, but it's been he years. I beat it when it first came out within the first week. Viera. No problem. I just Will remember really liking it. I really liked the ending that I got. And do your best to encourage them. Our performance will be terrible if the actors' hearts aren't in it. And that means no one will pay us. Got it. Okay, let's see if we can find out where these guys are. Okay, we'll do this one first. So, located in Ellis. He is in the southeast of the Forgotten Swamps. So, like, somewhere, like, here. He is praying at the Spring of Pierre. So, probably, like, right there. Wait, I think there was a fast travel here. There was. Uh... Uh, I don't know. Probably another GTA. Uh, another Red Dead. Uh, I have not beat Red Dead 2 yet, so no spoils. But I don't know. It'll probably stick to that. What other games are they famous for making? I mean, all I care about that I know of, that I remember of off the top of my head that I care about, that Rockstar makes, is GTA or Red Dead Redemption. Oh, never played Bully. I don't think that'd be my type of thing anyways. From what I saw of it, it looked more comedic than anything. Yeah, Bully 2 is uh, rumored to be in development too. Yeah, I think it might have been confirmed or something like that. Pretty fun or funny? I don't know. I've always been the type of... Like, I think the kid stuff and silliness was like a 12 and under me. Where anything after 12 and up was like... Got progressively more towards like mature, serious vibes. And th very, uh, very much so now with that. Like, I don't mind like silly things and funny things every now and then, right? But I don't like things that are solely focused on it. I'm not a fan of games that are just silly for the fuck of it or ridiculous for the hell of it. Like, if you like one time in this entire game, which there was a really silly fucking quest in this game, which was hilarious and I loved it. One of my favorite quests in the game. But the reason why I took it so well is because it didn't fill the whole game with ludicrous stuff. Have you come to learn about the mysteries of Hidoni? Not much of a mystery if you tell everybody about it. Hidoni is the goddess of bliss, and since we all seek bliss, we are all Hidoni. I'm not seeking bliss. I'm seeking an actor. We have no actors here, only teachers and students. Look, his name is Tros. 
He's an actor working for Thespis. I recall hearing that an actor joined us, but now his name is Hidoni. Like mine, everyone here is Hidoni. Just give me a straight answer. I need to find that actor. I'm sorry. I'm the only one permitted to speak with outsiders. But if you pass her initiation, others will speak with you too. Fine. Initiate me, Hidoni. What do I have to do? Wonderful! You must complete two tasks to demonstrate your devotion. First, climb to the top of the waterfall of eternal joy and dive into froth of fantasy. Right. And then what? Then, explore the cave of deepest self-knowledge and return with the treasure you'll find inside. Waterfall dive, cave treasure. Got it. Yeah, okay, let's just go fight Medusa. I don't want to do this bullshit right now. I'm three levels below her, but fuck it. I don't care about helping out these actors right now. I'll, I'll give it another swirl with her. Weapons, let's check our weapons. I mean, it's gonna be a really hard fight. Ooh, 30 total armor, 10 health. Yeah, I like that. I don't know what armor piece I was using. <laughs> I using ah fuck it I'll just use this I don't think that was it Okay, Medusa. It's time for round two. Brace! You have no idea what you're. Brace! Oh. I didn't know there was chests in here. One myth speaks of turning victims to stone.
Come here, bitch! Bitch, you made me waste my power. I need a faster weapon. I can't use my fucking ha my hammer. Am I using a hammer or am I using my axe? I think I'm using my axe. I have no idea, man. This is gonna be a really hard fight, though. No, I can't switch weapons. Oh, yep, yeah, okay, yep. I figured that. No, 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 no. Oh, well, that didn't help. Oh, 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 oh. It's a good strategy, but it's slow. Oh. It's super slow. <laughs> Ah! 
That hurt. Die slowly. God, man, this is gonna take forever. Okay, I think I got the method to beating here. I build up my fucking special bar with this. And when I build it up, I can attack her with my melee. Nope, okay, gotta fight her men now. Yeah, I'll try again though. Give myself an ultimatum. I'll say if I don't beat it this time, that'll be it for today. I've played a lot of it today. So I gotta try really hard. Yeah. 
Die! Stop, bitch! Dang it! Oh my god, I fucking hate you. Uh... Ah! Ah! Where is she? Yeah, what? What? Come at me! Die! Uh oh. Ah! 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 There we go. Ah! Got it still. Oh no! Oh my god, I hate you! Why would you make me waste it? Oh my god. Ah! Run! Run! Stupid bitch, I hate you! What game are you speedrunning right now? Oh yeah, how's that going so far? Behind me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh my god, you bitch! Ah! One, two, three, four! Ah! 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 
Oh, that hurt. Okay, we're fighting. Here we go, here we go. Okay, we can't get hit by your fucking beam here. No, 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 okay? No, 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 no! Yes! Stupid bitch, die! That's you me! Ah. Forgot about that. Gonna itch my head real bad. He's gonna have a second stage, and I don't know what that is. So I can't prepare for it either. Once we hit half health, she'll hit her half stage. Then I'll be good to attempt a uh, monthly, about a month of nightly practice. Damn, dude. It's a lot of repetition. This isn't her most dangerous phase. Her most dangerous phase is the one where I have to fight the soldiers. Unless her second stage opens up to like a whole lot of hell. Well, she might actually destroy all these rocks I'm hiding behind. That would actually be bad. We're about to hit her second stage, if she does have one. Does she not have one?
I mean, honestly, I prefer her not to, but she's already hard enough. And it's taxing. Just glad I got a lot of arrows, you know? Like, I got it to where it's auto refills, and I bought a lot of arrows, uh, uh supplies, wood. Ha <laughs> ha! It should. She probably does quarters. I have to fight her men in quarters. Like, thirds, not quarters, thirds. Shit, I almost forgot what I was doing there. Oh, I've been doing this for so long. It's gotta be a third thing. My fucking finger hurts. I'm pulling the trigger. So oh, here we go. Oh, I knew it. A third. Oh. Ah! 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 Can't run, they have to die to take her shield down.
Okay, I can't slack. Gonna itch my head though. This is the most I've ever used a bow in this entire game. <laughs> nah, nah, that ain't gonna trigger. Oh, 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 no. The combo killer, bro. If I didn't have all the wood that I've like gathered throughout the game and bought, I would not be able to win this fight with melee. She could have one more like stone thing up her sleeve, but I don't think she does. She could though. So I'll expect it. I'll be so pissed if I die right now. This is the longest fight I've been in with a person. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, fuck! Oh! Oh, shit! She's getting powerful! The hell was that double move? She's making sure I'm not getting restless. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Wait for it. She might do it again. Oh, yeah. She's starting to, like, fucking double up her move set. Oh, shit. She's tripling it! Damn, that's her peak thing right there. Oh, she, okay, she's shooting this time. Okay, so she changes it up. Ah, that's gonna be hard. There's no pattern here. She's changing it. Oh, oh god, she's getting way too dangerous right now. No, well, no, keep moving. Get ready for three of them. Oh, she did four! Okay, she's shooting now. Brian, you ready for four?
Oh, you trying to trick me, bitch? Oh, I hit my mic. Oh, no. Hope there's no audio sounds, guys. Oh, oh! Run, 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 run. Oh, shit. Okay, she's shooting. Keep moving, keep moving. Get ready for three more. Left. Watch her, watch her. She's still doing it. Watch her. Oh my god, damn. Oh! Fuck! Oh my god! Oh, holy shit! Oh my god, finally! Jesus, how many times is that in a row? Oh fuck, here we go again. Oh, I almost got caught there because of those tree trunks. Oh. 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 I have her right where I want her, I think. Oh, come on. Come on! Go! Lihia must have picked up the artifact and transformed into that creature. I wonder how many people have become the writhing dread over the centuries. God, that was a hard fight. Now I can return these pieces to Atlantis. There are the gates. Someone, I tell you, in another time, will remember us. God damn, I don't know if you saw that, Jay, but that was a fucking struggle. I don't know if it looked easy to you or not, but it was, it was tedious. And then, like, the moments, like, like, the laser part was easy. I just had to stay out of her beam. But every other part but that was hard. Let's put that figurehead on our ship because she was definitely the hardest thing to fight and now we're gonna go to the gates of Atlantis and put these things in there yes seal Atlantis I haven't actually seen it but it's one of the missions this was like the whole one to like bring us into the fold that 
supernatural beings may exist and maybe possibly even gods. This is also a nightmare difficulty, by the way, Jay. Which is the hardest difficulty. Uh, let's see. Left side needs to be brighter. Let's, uh, turn that up. There we go. I don't know. I'm a masochist. I like games on the hardest difficulty. <laughs> what is up with those pants? Oh, those are the pants. Oh, okay. It's just because I have a weird ass top. I need to find out what top I was using. Uh, I think that's what I was using, yeah. Negative 25% cooldown duration for all abilities? Ah! <laughs> I will use that when I can. Okay, now let's finally see what sealing the gates to Olympus do. Oh, look, it's my father. Oh, we gotta put them in the inch, I think. This artifact will help us close off the temple. You're nearly as stubborn as its former owner. Acquiring contemporaneity. Acquiring a voice, that's what. I'm taking over your recordings. The humans have had enough of your pompous speeches. Call me Alicia. I am truth in its revelation, and I am calling you out. You, Isu, who try to rewrite the laws of the universe. You who manipulate human progress. What do you hope to achieve? You treat humans as useful apes. How many artifacts have you created to control their minds? Do you fear their potential that much? Just look at what humans have achieved on their own. Democracy and diplomacy. A legacy of culture and art. We could share in this if you just treat them as equals. In your desperate search for immortality, you've ignored the obvious. You run endless simulations to find one in which nothing changes. It's pointless. Change will come. And not just the so-called end of the world you fear. You call yourself saviors, but tell me. Would this doomsday have appeared had you not pulled on the threads of the universe in the first place? taking over your retransmissions. You don't speak for all of us anymore. I am as Isu as you, but I will no longer be part of your exploitation. Those who came before, they speak to us and show us revelations. Though these words of disapproval are troubling. The gods have argued before. Athena and Poseidon competed for Athens. I wonder if Alethea won control of this place. This place holds the answers to humankind's salvation, I'm sure of it. Well done. This artifact will bring us closer to seeing the temple. It nearly brought me closer to my tombstone. to try to help you. I'm sorry if it's confusing. We Isu see various pasts and futures, and I know you'll be here more than once. My fellow precursors set endless challenges in your path. Artifacts, creatures. Don't get me started on the Olympus project. Their meddling got out of hand. I have no easy 
the answers for you. Your future depends on a multitude of choices you have to make for yourself. I'm sorry if so many of them end in pain. Your playwright's tragedies are your real oracle. But please, don't give up. You are more important than you can imagine. And like your own Pandora, I have one thing left to offer you. Hope. Despair is not our only legacy. You're like me, a rebel against your destiny. You're not just a mercenary. You're a hero for the ages. Don't you know as a mercenary? Hold fast to what you know is true, and you will overcome. Claim your place in history. All that is terrible and beautiful in this world is your birthright. Take it. Alethea says she can see the future. Many futures. Can this be a true oracle? Was it difficult to find this artifact? I just had to keep my eye on Get it? You stretched your life to the breaking point. I see you hiding yourself from the world, puzzling out the words of my fellow precursors. Please listen to my advice. You're analyzing the equations of reality itself. You've gotten further than any other human has. That is both amazing and terrible. Oh. Understanding has twisted your mind. You, oh, oh, the joke. The should never have shared knowledge yeah, you weren't there for that. <laughs> it's just because of how I got the part. You live in obsessive darkness. You must understand that this focus on power and bloodlines is not your true legacy. The precursors have manipulated you. They're turning your problem-solving intellect to their own selfish ends. You're better than this. Make your own legacy. Let your mathematical discoveries be the glorious sunbeams that shine out past your tomb. Please, scholar, clear your mind and focus on your present situation. At this moment, you possess a powerful artifact. It has extended your life long enough. As hard as it may be, it's time to pass it on. It's someone else's turn to balance the equations. No, no, lies. This is not obsession. This is research. This is discovery of the very origins of the world. It is an opinion, Pythagoras. Though, one with reason behind it. Hey, what's up, Emilio? You missed a really hard fight. That lasted a really long time. Yeah, it's just it's how it was before. This is the, exactly as I had it to say it before. Any questions for me? You should have come along. Traveler of many times, congratulations on making it this far. I'm glad we can share this message out of time, this fragment of reality. I'm recording this just for you, even if those living in the past won't understand it. Our simulated reality oh, yeah. will cross sooner or later. It's always good to take breaks every now and then here now listening to this recording isn't this an animus recreation isn't it part of a greater simulation how far do the ripples in the pool spread let's talk rebel to rebel 
Well, she's we talking to Alexios and she's talking about rules. Leia as well. Yeah, she's talking to the people in the future right now. Fiction. Where I thought there would be wisdom, there is only the garbled babbling of a fool. Pythagoras, calm yourself. Maybe this invitation was meant for someone else. There is no need to lose your reason over the Yeah, she's, they're talking to the present day people. This is incredible. The knowledge stored here is overwhelming. It will take me years to decipher it all. What about sealing Atlantis? Have you found a way to do it? Oh, yes, yes, I think so. Well, what is it? The staff. The staff is the key. All right. It's time. I can't. Not yet. Listen to yourself. You've gone mad. You need to accept. Some knowledge was not meant to be had. Knowledge is power. The only power worth having. Am I gonna have to kill my cost? dad? <laughs> I will not be ordered around or lectured by you. Well, my, it was your my real plan dad. to seal this place. And I agreed to help. That was before I realized what we would uncover about the first civilization. The creation of humankind. We are sealing this place to keep the cult from using I already it killed my stepdaddy. Time to kill my real that daddy. Is bigger than your quest for knowledge. The cult will be nothing but an insect to swat once the power is ours. Give me the staff. You have to. For the sake of everyone. <laughs> the knowledge contained in here could fix everything for generations. Do to come. it. <laughs> I can't just walk away from that. What good is knowledge if there is no one around to use it? Leave if you must. I will not. I'm not going without the staff. I may be old, but I am not as weak as I appear. Ah, oh, fucking a die! Oh! I killed my stepdad, who was more of a father than you. And he betrayed me, and and you're evil. So fuck it. I'll just kill all my family members except for my son and my mother. Knowledge is mine. Mine. You are literally. Oh, he made me waste the. Oh God, he's got powers. <laughs> Your powers are not okay. Okay. Oh God, that fucking hurt. I don't know what that does. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. There he is. Go! Oh! <laughs> oh god. Oh. Uh. oh no. Oh. Oh! What? If you didn't have powers, you'd just be a walk in the park, old man. Oh shit, he made me teleport with him. Uh. He was like a father to me. Ah, oh, shit, he's got it. Oh! He can combine them! Oh, shit, where'd he go? There he is. Come on, I, I know you gotta use it. Oh, come on, come on, bitch. I know you're gonna use it. Ah! Using that teleport shit. Ah! I don't want it. I want it destroyed. Liar. Oh well, I, I didn't say I want it destroyed. I never said that. Hey, now I think I'm being a little bit excessive here. <laughs> oh, hey, buddy.
buddy. How you doing? How many times? Hey, you feel, have you seen SpongeBob? How many times do I gotta teach you this, old man? real dad but I never actually knew who he was. never knew who he was I just found out he was it and that was it so I mean no emotional attachment the one I had emotional attachment threw me off a cliff so oh So don't worry, I found him years later and then fucking stabbed him in the stomach. No, it isn't. Then killed my stepbrother. That's the point. Nobody does. No. Oh no, the, the staff was keeping him alive. Well then. Goodbye, Dad. <laughs> I only knew you for a, a year, technically, but I've only seen you twice, so. Anyways, now that I have the staff, <clears throat> where are you? Ha <laughs> ha. Low chance to gain a 30% health to shield when hit. Hmm. Now I have the staff. <laughs> okay. Atlantis is too dangerous. I must seal it. And now I can seal this, which will then by hopefully activate the hair of memories, which will then activate me being able to do the fate of Atlantis expansion, which is the bigger expansion and really good apparently. Oh man, I'm back in present day. I fucking hate modern day. I don't give a shit about you, Leia. Layla. Everything Layla. in order? Then open sesame. Oh my god, I hate her. So much power. The nodes are interconnected in ways I couldn't imagine. This is more complex than any Isu temple we found. Lisbon, the Arctic. I'm recording everything, Layla. You're going to be a hero for discovering this. Do you see the staff anywhere? Not yet, but there's more to explore. Yeah. I'll find it. Yeah, okay. Good. Where do you got, Layla? What's wrong? I, I don't know, Layla. Yeah, let's I'll leave. Check my notes on the Isu. Right. Oh, I see it. There's a beam of light missing. Time to troubleshoot. God damn it. I literally hit every second I'm in modern times. Like, I don't care what anyone says. M the modern day portion of this game and all the games I played after Desmond's series were just cringy shit 
They're just cringy as hell. The acting is even a tier and a cup below the main game as well. No idea why. They were like, well, they're, gonna, they're only going to spend like an hour in modern day anyways. Like combining this with like every moment I've spent in modern day, it's probably only been like an hour of modern day time. Like not like real life time, but like the modern day part of it. Lila, that pillar looks like it can move. Those pillars seem to have mirrors on them. If you manipulate those light beams, they might illuminate something important. Oh god, I hate puzzles. Oh, okay, look, I can do that. Oh. Du -du 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 -dum. I'm just going with my gut. There we go. Uh, uh, um. Oops. There we go. Uh, this is for oh. What's it doing on the other side? Oh, okay, okay. Da -ha! Uh Reflecto Ah, there we go. I got it. Easy. Can you just take me to the cutscene? Like the only reason I ever cared about the modern day times in the first place was Desmond, then they killed him off, so right after that I lost interest. And then after that it just became poop. Black Flag was kind of okay with how they did the modern day, because you were just yourself just working for the, uh, not the economy, the company, or an Abstergo company as a assassin, but you were actually you, like in real life, you were a acting as you. A good friend told me that one. Holy oh, shit! It's possible. Alexios. Yes. I used to be called the Eagle Bearer, but Icaros is long gone. I've been searching for you. But you can't. It's. <laughs> you weren't really looking for me, were you? It works! The Isu artifact, the staff of Hermes Trismegistus. Oh man, is you this where I'm gonna let it go so and die? Any questions, Leila? You know my name? Maybe the gods told me. Maybe I had a vision of the future. Maybe the device in your ear is noisy. Sorry. I came here with a purpose to find you and put an end to what I started many centuries ago. I have your spear. Would you like it back? Oh, no. You can keep it. It's broken. But you used it broken. It was powerful. I used it to defeat enemies even Erototos could not describe. But everything must come to an end. I left it to him when its power was exhausted. Something to remember me by. Don't you I kill me so off! <laughs> I didn't live That's thousands of years for important. nothing. It kept you alive. How? Ask a student of Hippocrates. I hear he still has some. The staff served its purpose. My friends and I are trying to keep it out of the hands of the Templar Order. Listen to me. Order, chaos. If either triumphs alone, the world dies. I tried to bring an end to chaos, and it has only led to ruin. I used to assist order. Now I fight for choice, freedom, chaos. Pythagoras was right. You are the key to the prophecy. 
You will restore the balance, Leila. I have fought in too many wars. I have seen too many people die. I've traveled from one end of the earth to the other. This belongs to you now. No! Promise me one thing. Anything. When you are done, destroy it. Destroy them all. I am not okay with living only 2,300 years! <laughs> Wait, yeah, 2,000. I am not okay with dying at that age! <laughs> no! <laughs> Why, Clay? This just makes me horribly sad! Mother Van Vos. Trailer, now I know I died 2,300 years later. <laughs> no! If I had gotten a choice with that, I would have never died. <laughs> At least I know I live long. There's so much of the story I haven't seen. I should go back to the Animus and visit Alexios again. What the fuck? I'm not okay with how I died. <laughs> there needs to be like 50 fucking games now with Alexios. I lived for 2,300 years. There's only one game with this motherfucker. <laughs> there needs to be a shit ton more. God, they can't just show me living that long and not allow, like... Charlie? I mean, to be fair, I guess I did keep the staff like I said I was going to because I was like, I don't want to destroy it, so I kept it. But I guess some knowledge made me decide it was my time to die. You know us. <laughs> Always on your tail. Old Herodotus couldn't wait to see you. I told you, Vandalas. Sira is said to hold a secret. A secret no one can fathom. Yes, but a lost world? It's perfectly possible. I mean, to be fair, but I think this now makes it exist. to where Sounds Alexios like was the me, oldest person. He's insistent about it. Herodotus is Because right. he lived all the way... Atlantis he lived 2,300 years. Incredible. It's true. I can't believe it. Oh my Tell god. Me everything. My mother sent me here to meet But yeah, my so father. I guess I kept it. So I made a choice, you know, but 2,300 years is a long time, you know, so... Your father was it's a lot more than it, you could have asked for with any other of the Assassin's Creed characters. Unthinkable. He's it definitely the longest immortal. life out of all of them. He had a staff that belonged to the ancient civilization. Even Altair only it lived like 140 years, all right? 180 years, maybe? It makes perfect sense. Well, where is he? Invite him along. He's your father, after all. He was a stubborn man. This he is like 341 BC, so it was like 2,341 <laughs> years. Oh, I suppose uh, that trait runs in the family. He means... Uh, 2,411 years? It's all right. Yeah. But none of this can ever pass your lips. Around there? This Somewhere around there. between I'd... us. You have my word. But the world needs to know. We could tell the most amazing tale of our time. Herodotus. Oh, fine. Then it's settled. Let's move forward. I think I'm 8343, aren't I? Like always. Wait, no, I'm, I'm BCE. I'm not AD. I'm BCE. Because it's before it goes... One, like, it counts down to zero, then counts up. So we're 2020, and then We've the 343 we? BCE is what I'm Speak at, I think. Yourself. I'm on the hunt for truth. Gods know not all your myths are accurate. They come from the gods themselves, who are the most reliable sources we have. 
you've both been a great help to me. It doesn't matter who's right or wrong. And you would know, as the eagle-bearing demigod you are, <laughs> perhaps he too is immortal. <laughs> <laughs> sure I am. I do know one thing for certain. This has been an odyssey I won't forget. It's set 422 BC. It's set 422 BC. So that means I'm 2,442 years old when I die. 2,442. I mean, that's still a long life. That's that's like that literally is the longest life in Assassin's Creed, as far as I'm aware of. Every story has an ending. What about that? Oh, meet contact. Oh yeah, the list. Wait, uh, talk to Herodotus. Oh no, not yet. We're going to go to the Hair to the Memories, which is right there. Uh, that's gonna be the fastest one, I believe. Looks like it's seven minutes from you having to pound that monster, Emilio. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is. I just, I looked it up on uh, the Google real quick and it said BCE for 342, so I don't... I don't know when all of that splits. Don't make me live stream that shit. Oh, live stream you pounding that. Yeah. But I mean, still, it doesn't change the fact that Alexios lived for 2,442 years. Which, as far as my knowledge, he's the longest living, by far, the longest living uh, Assassin's Creed person. Malata. What will I, do now? I think it's fucking dumb as shit that he gave away the fucking staff at the end and just died but that's only because i didn't get to see everything he went through through all 2442 years i do think that they definitely should have multiple games with alexios even if he's under a different name because you know the different years you know completely acceptable i mean it makes sense What do you mean? What do you mean if you did that last, could you have done it differently? Is that what you said? What do you mean? Well, yeah, each, uh, each expansion in each quest has multiple different choices and can have multiple different endings as well. So you still get your own personal story with it that changes loose. Oh. Well, no, I mean, like... Like, after Odyssey's timeline ends, like, after this, this game's, like, all stories done, all quests are done, etc., he lives 2,442 years in total before he gives up the staff. I'm saying, like, because they did that, now I want more Alexios games. So, like, another game with Alexios, even if he's not called Alexios, he's under a different name because, you know, he's immortal. I definitely think that that, op that, sh that opens it up to the availability for a trilogy, a saga, etc., even more like they did with uh Ezio Aldatori del Firenze where he got a trilogy I definitely think that they could do a lot more and the only reason I get think he could get more than a trilogy is because he lives for 2442 years Ezio didn't Ezio lived a normal life 
and he's still got a trilogy. So, and I like Alexios. I like the idea of it. And they could easily pass off the choices of like the past games with being like, oh, it happened so long ago. Maybe. I definitely think that's something they should work on. I mean, a choice-based Assassin's Creed game that also continues in, like, a huge, massive story like that. I'd like to be able to... See, the issue here is I'd like to understand why I would make that decision at the end. In a, in a choice-based game where you get to determine the outcome. Granted, I know it's 2,442 years later and the character's still his own even though you're making choices, etc. I would still like to know why I would ever think that. Keeper, you came. Keeper, you have come far to meet me here. Keeper? My name is Alexios. Names change, but this Maybe I'll find out eternal. in the fate of Alanis. You are the keeper. Oh, no. He who keeps the great seal closed and the staff of Hermistris Megistus safe. Any task I perform, I decide. Now, who are you? I am called many things, but you can call me Alithia. With the staff in your hands, we are now entwined. Entwined? How? I can now present myself to you in a form that you recognize. You must deliver me to the heir of memories. Even now, she watches us. When I speak to you, I speak through you to her. None of this makes any sense, Alicia. It will. In Atlantis, the Great Seal hid itself from Pythagoras. It wants to be opened, but not by him. Your task is to prepare the heir of memories to open it. Pledge yourself. Where is this heir? Not where, but when. She is yet to be, but even still, uh, I think she is here get all the watching answers. us now. What if I say I don't pledge? <laughs> this stuff is mine. I'm not letting this heir or anyone else get their hands on it. You can't avoid this forever, Keeper. Oh, okay, I figured pledge that yourself. would happen. Okay. Fine. <laughs> I pledge to keep this staff until the heir of memories, whoever that is, is ready to take it. I figured that was happening. I just wanted to see. I want to see what would happen. Hey, what's up, John? How you doing? Is the tablet dead? Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, I do, Emilio. Yeah, I do. I like... It. Well, not all of them. I, I like most of them, though. All right. What did your diagnostic show you? Alana's getting the results now. I've Maybe recently we'll stopped doing that, though. So now... Yoshi, you cut out. You there? I'm out the back. I was saying, but now... I only do it once, back. though, obviously. Because that's Air the only time memories. amount I can. The great seal awaits you. But I like it. Gives it a small Enjoy. boost. I like did what I do, that? so no, I like now. my content. What did you hear? Before there's radio static that we were Yeah, I did too. Just uh, uh hardcore spoils here though if you care about that. Same one Alexis and hashtag no spoils if you already know I what happens. <laughs> like Kyoshi said, try to relax. Yeah, it, it's cuz it didn't light up when I saw it. Go to the seal air. I like to think that maybe giving one like will uh boost like viewership or like people might be more inclined to watch it or you know, I don't know. He has to like four months. What do you mean? What? The keeper delivered me to you. His pledge has been satisfied, and now I am entwined with you. Heir of memories, this is the great seal to Atlantis. It has waited long to meet you. Victoria, Alethea's voice is coming through the staff. Victoria? The interloper can't hear you now. You're scrambling my comms? Focus, Layla. You're not going crazy. I think that memory, if it wasn't an animus malfunction, Alexios was the keeper holding the staff for me? And somehow the staff has been equipped for auto transmission. God damn it, Layla, you're so stupid! <laughs> 
almost looks like a locking mechanism. Name these She's literally been watching Alexios's life. She knows what all this does. Okay, talking stick. Oh, okay. Which symbols? In what order? There must be some way to know. The Keeper kept this riddle and more in his mind. Altair 2. I'm going back in the Animus. If the signal gets through and you can monitor my vitals, great. If not, well, you've earned one free. I told you so. Jesus, 200 hours? God damn. What difficulty are you playing on? I'm playing on Nightmare difficulty. I got like 70 hours in it, but... And that was like still doing like other things as well. Like I almost have all the uh, character missions done. All the base game main missions are done. F uh, first Blade mission main missions are done. Oh, nice. Uh, okay, that's good. I'm, I'm not because I enjoy the story, but it's good that you are so that you're not like bugged out by watching this. Uh, that's good. That's good. Only good way to play this game is nightmare difficulty. Um, but yeah, like I haven't gone out and just done a billion contracts or anything like that. Right. Which I'm assuming that's what you've done to do all that. Cause I've done a ton of like character, like, uh, stories of Greece. I think they're called. I think that's what they're called. Uh, I think I need a light up maybe. Let's see. Not that side. This side. Keeper, our task is to guide the heir of memories to the symbols. A man <laughs> called Theodos knows of their whereabouts. Theodos? It the took me so many to hours to get to this. Is that why you've brought me back to this place? Here, the role of the Keeper bound itself to you, though you didn't know it yet. Now, to uncover the truth, we must go to Theodos. How will I know this heir of memories when I see her? She will come to you. The end of your journey is in the Hall of Atlantis, where her true journey begins. Oh, yeah. I don't really care about getting all the other uh, abilities because there's a specific way I play, and there's a limit to the amount of hotkeys you can have. And I, I don't like that there's a limit, but that's just how there is. So I'm very specialized. Who or what are you? I oh, hell yeah. Lithia. Pythagoras called my people the ones who came before, but we are the issue. Like you, I invited rebellion into the world, though there were complications. I replicated my consciousness in the staff of Ernestris Megistus so that I can speak with you and the heir. I don't understand who the Keeper is. The Keeper isn't a person, but a task, and it is yours. Pythagoras held the staff to exploit its power. The Keeper's task is to restrain it and protect it from the hands of corruption until the heir of memories appears. Wait, 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 wait. Does this mean that after my journey in Odyssey, I just go sit in the tomb and do nothing? Well, no, that's not true. That can't be true. No, I had powers because I was wearing that suit. I was going to say it couldn't be true because I was wearing the suit, but I could just change it, and I'm pretty sure I changed my appearance. I'm going to find Theras. I guess you're coming with me. Our tasks are the same. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure you used magic, didn't you? Layla, he? come in. Alana, is that you? Two things. Oh. Interrupting our comms, which oh god, I'm hearing her vitals. now. Kiyoshi is looking into it. I know this sounds crazy, but I think it's the staff. Oh, we're connected. Nothing sounds crazy to me anymore. Still, I'd like to verify. In other news, your animus is definitely bugging out. Victoria is yelling at her monitors in French, and frankly, I'm not sure what you're <laughs> doing is safe. You call that What yelling? do you mean by chaotic? Layla, the Altair 2 is moving into position. We're going to ask that you come up for air while we take a look at it. I can't do that, Vic. Alexios is looking for Theras who might know how to unlock the Great Seal to Atlantis. The what? Layla, I... Theras was a friend to Pythias. I'll let you know more as soon as I get answers. Layla, out. No, okay, that was just her talking outside of it while still being in the Animus. Okay. Less interested. Uh, talk to Theras. Theras is on Sylph's Island. Uh... 
Nope. Where art thou? Yeah, I mean, you can unlock the traits and be able to engrave them, though. I don't really rely on that too much. I literally, I go based on my stats as well. Stephra, right here, right? Yep, Seraphis. Wait, yeah, Seraphis. I like the gear part. I, I think that uh, there's a lot really done well with this game, but there's, uh, there's specific areas I think they could have done better. It's a, it's so close to perfect in like how it was built, but it doesn't quite reach it yet. And I'm hoping Valhalla, uh, Valhalla learns from Odyssey and goes with that. I still hope Valhalla's choice based, etc. But I really hope they improve and learn from Odyssey because Odyssey is definitely the best Assassin's Creed that's come out in terms of gameplay, in terms of choices, and pretty much every single thing except for maybe the actual story the actual story is good i like it but it's been a while since i played the other assassin's creed so i don't really remember like which one i'd absolutely love in terms of just the actual writing of it more you know what i mean i definitely think in every other aspect odyssey wins though. there is specific things i can pick and uh prod at that i think odyssey lacks or like i said needs to improve on there's things like i liked in i think in brotherhood and revelations i don't know about in the first assassin's Creed, but in brotherhood and revelations i believe in both of them you could recruit assassins send them out like do all these different like cool things there's definitely things that i, I feel older games had that DST. newer games should have too please stop i want to stop but i can't not until you tell us where you found these symbols in fidias's workshop Leave him. I bet you. Die, bitch. I haven't seen anything directly 100% confirming, though, that it's choice based. I've seen things say it will, things it won't, things we don't know, etc. Like, I saw one that was apparently confirming it. But then there was another one saying we don't have any information on it. So I don't like to say anything or... I do anything until I know for a 100% fact. A weird weapon. I definitely think it has, it has a lot of potential. Like, if it learns from Odyssey, it has a huge potential to be my favorite game. Oh, yeah, I, I heard about that. Eagle bearer, I can't tell you how relieved I am to see you. Are you all right? It's nothing compared to what they did to poor Fidias. Did you hear? Firas, I need you to think. I'm looking for the location of some symbols. I can't explain why, but you have to help me. I was exploring the tombs of Agamemnon, Etiocles, and Orion. I'm a traveler like you. I found the symbols and etched them onto parchment to give to Fidias as a gift. Where were these symbols? In Argolis, you'll find one in Agamemnon's tomb. At Theocles' tomb in Attica is where I found another. The final one, I found in Viotia, deep in Orion's tomb. You need to find somewhere safe, Theras. You can sail with us on the Adrestia. I would be forever in your debt. Take this map. It's rough, but it's the best I could do. Here, Eagle Bearer, and thank you. Hey, hey, no problem. I'm very excited for it. Uh, really can't wait to play it. And really have high hopes for the series as a whole. The information leading up to the game and when the game comes out. I'm really hoping I have a, at least at least a small following when the game comes out and i stream it and record it as well that people will also be there as well i kind of want to see like just how well i can build this you know i'm really trying to build a community around that 
as well as around cyberpunk, as well as just in general, but I am trying to target specific areas, and I do have a lot planned for it. I do think as of this moment I've completed all main clans, as well as the new Thinblood clan, but I do have other clans I'm going to be going over. And I think, let me check this data right here, I'm pretty sure that... I just want to make sure like how much time it's been. I want to try I'm trying to do it to where like I do it weekly now. Just want to make sure how long it's been. Cuz I want to try to do it weekly instead of every day cuz it takes a lot to record every day, you know. Okay, 26. What's today? First. Okay, yeah. So a couple more days and it'll be a week, so couple more days and then I'll do the next one I'm glad you're enjoying it though I've put a lot of time into it and a lot of work uh, fa oh yeah fate of Linus. okay so we're gonna close the shadows of the east we don't need to do that right now um Yeah, honestly, the the longest part of this is the recording the audio, and then th that part is uh, pro a good amount of time, but the longest part after that would be cutting out and making, uh, like, the deep breaths I take when I'm like, <gasps> or anything like that. Like, it, if I'm, like, licking my lips or something like that, or if I mess up what I'm reading or have written down, anything like that. Specifically right now, it's just... The clan videos I'm getting from the Wikipedia fandom, you know, the White Wolf Wikipedia uh, page, that's where I'm getting the clan stuff. Everything before the clan stuff is all hand-picked. Like, I tore videos apart so I could find everything I could. I tore forums. I tore open articles. Like, I dug through everything and hand-picked everything and then read it, uh, like wrote the whole thing into my own script. The only thing right now that's scripted or copy pasted is the clan things where I'm reading off something that I honestly don't feel like I could give any more in-depth explanation than by using those. And I feel like going over all these clans is great for knowledge, for a background, and as well the series entails, it's a full in-depth explanation of Bloodlines 2 and everything surrounding the game and leading up to it. And I really want to uh, capitalize on that. Uh, so Boeotia is right here. The symbol is in the north of Ropus Heights. Right here, Tomb of Orion. I can't wait to play it too. I'm really excited. Uh, I have high hopes for it to at least be better than Bloodlines 1. And... I, oh, no, no. At worst, be better than Bloodlines 1. I think I think at its worst, it'll still be better than Bloodlines 1. At its best, I think it has the... I think it has the potential to be really good. Like, really good. Not epic. I don't think it'll be epic. It And I could, this is me just saying, I do think it has a lot of potential to be a really, really good game. I just don't see it becoming epic. Um... I do hope so. Like, if I was like, what do I hope? I hope it's epic. I hope every game I play is epic and I shed tears of joy. But I only think it's going to be a really, really good game, if not just a really good game or a good game. Um, I do think at its worst, though, it will be better than Bloodlines 1. And, yeah, uh, one thing you'll notice going through those videos is... I try to point out everything I know. And when I was going over the UI, I don't know uh, how much you know about it based on like what you've watched. But when I was going over that UI, I meant only in those specific areas. Like there won't be a lot of like red, like right here on the text in the game where it says find the symbol's tomb, the symbol is in Boeotia, etc. There won't be red text. There won't be like red in other areas. They try to use red as little as possible anywhere in the HUD elements, except for things that are tied directly to your lifeline. That's what I was trying to reach out with with that. But I do go over as many details as I can, as little as possible, and as obvious as it might seem, I try to go over every single thing I can, in as much detail as I can. 
Now, I'm not going to obviously pick apart the mechanics of a game and be like, well, in order to move your arm like this, they need to program it like this or whatever. Like, I'm not going to do that. Like, I don't plan on doing that. But I do plan on going over pretty much the style you've seen so far. I'm contemplating what else I want to do after the clan videos. I do have something in mind, which will require a lot of work just like the clan videos, if not more. Uh, and it's not like a hidden thing or anything. It's basically, uh, I'm thinking about doing the entire timeline, like a, a video or a series of videos that goes over the entire timeline from the creation of time in their universe all the way up to present day. So every single event, every single thing that's ever happened from the beginning of time up to present day. Yeah, you're telling me you need new gameplay? I need new gameplay. I've been using the same gameplay reel for every video. I try to, like, if it's a short video, I try to cut different pieces so you're not at least seeing the exact same, like, like from the start to the end video each time. But I don't want to just do, like, a simple thing and like put on bloodlines one content or anything like that i don't want to put on random like games in the background i want it to be relevant to what i'm talking about which is the, why i put an emphasis on not playing game sound in the back and more of an emphasis to just have it in the background while you listen you know boop, boop, boop. keeper the tomb of Ori in this tomb the heir of memories will see how life grows from a dead place Life growing from a tomb. If I hadn't seen the staff Ew. work, I wouldn't I do not it. like CSGO. The heir's task is to bring life where there was death, and your task dooms you to endure loss. Close your eyes and picture the face of one you will never see again. What <laughs> would you tell them? It's hard for me to apologize, but I would say... I'm sorry for everything I failed to do. Remember that answer and the pain from which it comes. You don't have to tell me, Alethea. I will always remember. I will always keep. And now, will the heir of memories rise to face the tomb? I suppose she will. Altair 2, come in. Altair 2 here. Are we going to go in at the same time? The tomb of Orion. I'll show you how to get oh, there when yeah. I get back. Uh, no, this might very well be my least favorite part of the game is the fate of Atlantis expansions. As I said, I hate modern Layla day to the altar version. Too. It wasn't easy, but I'm in. I still don't understand. An AI or some other kind of consciousness is in the staff, which Should is used down? to open the great seal to Atlantis. Partly right. The symbols in these tombs are somehow tied to the symbols on the seal. Play faster. Oh, there's traps. <laughs> I don't want to play faster. I want to get rid of. I want to. Oh, man, it, disappointment already because I don't want. I, like I literally care nothing about the past, like the present. That's an ability point I'm gonna get when I get back to Alexios. Um, this? No, I thought I could move it maybe. Uh, I heard a humming right here but it's just this but yeah okay give me the back that didn't work <laughs> uh okay oh there's another path how i'll let you know once i find one guess i'm taking your word for it be careful in there no no you're uh if you're implying that the people who want the modern day assassins creed are wrong then you're completely right <laughs> why like if like i would have been excited if they like i literally thought that desmond the whole thing with that was gonna lead up to a modern day assassin's creed and i was totally for it at that time and they killed him off and i don't give a shit about modern times i didn't even care about the present just stop bringing me to the present i don't care about any of these people this raider was poisoned I know there was a hole back there. I'm just not going to it right now. Do 
No, that's not gonna go that way. No, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, wait, wait. There we go. Yeah, I, I, li I honestly think that when they killed Desmond off, it was the worst decision they could make for the modern day portion of the game. I like they literally set it up to where he was gonna be like the master assassin in every way and I they killed him and they fucked it up and it was for the stupidest reason ever. At that moment I lost complete uh, but not complete. I lost complete interest, but then I played Black Flag and I liked how it let you play as you, even though you never really got to talk or anything. I still thought that was dope. Uh, but I still didn't, I got completely lost interest in it. Like, there's nobody I care about in the present day. Nobody at all. And then if you read, like, the lore things, you find out that Desmond was literally, like, torn apart by Abstergo Labs, and they used them as, like, experimentation for, like, different, like, his, like, different, the arms were for different parts, and the legs, etc. Like, everything was used in experiments. So I, I guess, like, what if at the end they like they pull like a fucking 180, right? And they're like, by the way, Abstergo cloned Desmond, and now the clone works for them, and you know, do like a Star Wars. The tomb hasn't flooded. Uh, Star Killer this place shit. Is falling apart. Yeah, yeah. Like I like that was the biggest mistake that I have ever seen a game do in a series. Because of the relationship between the constellation and Orion. Wait a minute, did I just run in a complete circle? I did. Ah, fucking A. I'll go through the hole in the wall this time. <laughs> Wait a minute. Were these stairs here last time? I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, they were. Oh, because there's the hole. I ran through here. What the fuck, man? Like, every time I get, like, to the present day in, like, any of these games, I just get a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah. I don't know. Like I said, they could do a whole, like, flip, and everything is gonna work its way back up to, like, reviving Desmond or cloning him or something like that, you know? Like, I don't care. Like, I would be ex I would accept any reason that brings Desmond back as a character and then have him be the master assassin. Like, they fucking said and at that moment if they did that i would buy their entire collection and then play from the beginning except for whatever was like the most recent one i played obviously the first symbol is near a hole in the ceiling but how do i get up there fucking climb you're an assassin oh <laughs> she might not be an assassin Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Odyssey is still the best Assassin's Creed that's been made in terms of <clears throat> uh, everything but story, like I said. It's just, I no longer care about the modern day story because it sucks ass too. and they killed off the easy. one character that was but actually good. I still don't understand. In modern day. Or some other kind of consciousness is in the staff, which is used to open the great Oh yeah, dude. Can't, Vaha, can't wait. Right. Cannot fucking the wait, man. symbols in these tombs are somehow tied to the symbols on the seal. How? Vikings is like know. one of my favorite like time periods. Yes, like I just I love turn. them. Be careful in there. <laughs> Hello. I just uh, one thing I hate about the Assassin's Creed thing is it always introduces features in each game, and then in the next game it just leaves those features <laughs> out. Is near. Like, it just forgets about itself. And I don't know why. Like, it should be taking the oh, everything that was good and everything that was working and just get, get rid of it. I Not get rid of it. I keep it. Not fucking introduce all these features and then just dis like get rid of them for each game. Like, it would be different if it was, like, uh, something that could only happen in that time period. But recruiting soldiers, sending them out, like, doing stuff like that, like... You could do that in any of these time periods they had.
Wait a minute. Oh, okay, never mind. Not what I thought. People said it was stale. Well, yeah, they could have instantly, like, just built off it, improved it. And even then, it just Ubisoft's one of the ones that kind of go with uh, what people want, you know? They need to be able to the stick symbol. to their own the first idea of, three, and what, of what they well, want. Air. It almost looks like a constellation. Layla, all of our readings are being jammed. Are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. But there's still two more to uncover. I'm going back into the Animus. There have been too many bugs, Layla. We need to stop and figure out what's happening. We'll stop once I've opened the seal. Layla out. Yay, it's over. Ugh. So I have a question for you, John, by the way. Uh, based off since you've seen my vampire videos, is me, like i'm gonna i plan on streaming and recording at the same time so i have the recording a better quality video and then i can use it for other types of videos etc but i just wanted to have like an opinion on what you as a potential viewer for the series thought as well i like to include my viewers and what they think hmm not as like what clan I'll play or choose or anything like that, but like, yeah, I'm just curious. Like, it, are is that something you'd be interested in? Is seeing me stream it as well as record it? Because I, I get I get two options, right? I get the option that allows me to stream and record at the same time, but if I do this, I will only be able to give you guys. 1080p that's upscaled to 4k and 1440 so if you want to watch in 1440 or 4k it's going to be an upscale 1080 version technically i'll be playing in 4k downscaling to 1080 and then upscaling to 4k so maybe that fixes it like the resolutions i don't know but as far as i know it might not be true native 4k or true native 1440 but it'll still be a better 1080 than normal and you'll still have 1440 and 4K, and they still look nice. It's just it won't be true 4K. Or I can do the other option and not stream and just record in 4K, and it will be true 4K and, you know, all the other resolutions that go with it. Um, I don't know, Emilio. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, I guess you're going. But before you go, if you heard it, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stream in 1440p because I don't know the bitrate limit. Uh, there's Sparta Kick and Odyssey based on 300 movie that should tell you how. Yeah, I, I use the Sparta Kick. It's actually one of the most useful skills in the game when you want to kill somebody. <clears throat> uh... I like it purely because it's very useful for killing things. Not because it's the Spartan kick. Uh... Okay, so basically the content. Uh, if I'm streaming, it's going to be streaming the game as long as I want. Blah, blah, blah. Recording, same thing. But no matter what, I'm going to have a recording version. It's just a, four, a 4K downscale to 1080 version. That will then be upscaled. Okay, so either way, it's going to be 4K in the end, right? Whether it's streamed or not. The uploaded recordings or videos will be 4K. Uh, the stream will be 1080, but uploaded videos. So like, oh, can't believe that this boss fight took so long. Or like, the whole boss fight. Um, found this secret location. Like, anything that isn't the stream itself will be an, either an upscaled 4K or true 4K. The stream will always be 1080, but it'll probably be a better 1080 than normal because it'll be downscaled from 14, uh, 4K. So that that's basically what it means. Like, any future videos, like if I do like a compilation of my favorite moments, if I do... 
uh, I don't know, like all cutscenes, etc., things like that. I haven't really thought like exactly what I'm gonna do because I haven't played the game yet. But essentially, it's just stream will be 1080p, but a better 1080p than normal, and the recording will be 1080p. But it will because I can't uh, I can't stream to at 1080 and then also record at 4K. Because what I'm using is the same computer to do that. And in order to do that, I have to have the canvas that I'm using to record to set to 4K, then the one being output set to 1080. So that's going to lock my recording in to 1080 as well. So it's going to be a highly detailed 1080. And then after I'm editing the video and rendering, etc., and then I render it to an upscaled 4K... It's still going to get 4K and 1440. It's just not going to be true 4K or 1440. Okay, yeah, good. No, I'm terrible with explaining things. <coughs> sorry, sorry. But yeah. Well, yeah, but here, here's the thing with it. I've got to do a playthrough of the entire game, right? Like, I'm going to play from the beginning to the end streaming. But the thing is, is because for me, it's like, well, if I want the, I can get the best of both worlds. I can stream and record the game and then upscale to 4K to get the higher quality of the bitrate that I'm using. And it's originally in 4K in the first place. So I'm going to be able to get the best of both worlds. It's just I won't have the live stream be 4K, like, true, like 4K at all. And then the videos... Like I said, uh, I'm not sure if, if I downscale from 4K to 1080, but then upscale the render, because then the video that's recorded, downscaled from 4K to 1080, will be a 1080 video. It'll just be a higher quality 1080 video than regular 1080. If I upscale that back to 4K, does that replace all the pixels that was then smushed into 1080 and then correctly puts it back to 4K and it's true 4K or is that fake 4K still? Like, that's the question that I'm curious about. Uh, let's go to Argolis. Hmm. Oh, upscaling definitely makes it look really good in 4K and 1440. So it's still going to look really good even after it's upscaled from the downscaled 1080p. Because it'll downscale from 4K to 1080 and then upscale back to 4K when I take the recordings and edit them. It's still going to look really good. It's just, I don't know if it makes it the same quality as if I recorded in 4K. Rather than downscaled and then rendered upscaled. So I'm, I'm not too sure about that. I haven't read anything about that exact process. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, wait, what? Oh my god. Wrong quest line. Argolis, southwest place of Argamon. Uh, southwest of the palace of Argamon. Uh, Agamemnon. Whatever. Agamemnon? <laughs> I don't know how to say that. <laughs> right here. Southwest. Symbol is the ancient doom. So it's like something like here. Yeah, I've done it before too. Uh, like up downscaling obviously gives you a better result because anything moving up from like say 4K to 1440 or 4K to 1080 will look better than 1080. Generally though, 1080 upscaled to 4K shouldn't look good, but I, I fucking smash a shit ton of bitrate at it. I just throw bit rates at it. I don't care about the file size. I throw it at it and I'm like, freaking look good. I throw that shit at it. Like, seriously, when I upscale to 4K, the minute I have it on variable and then two pass for rendering. So it, it goes through once and determines what place is going to be the highest area that needs the most bitrate. And then it goes through a second time and actually renders it. And I have it bare minimum 100 megabytes. And then if it needs it, it has a cap to go up to 300 megabytes. So it, it can... It can take it. It will be quality. <laughs> I just don't know if it'd be true. 
Oh yeah, yeah. After that, like I, I, I fucking shove bit right down in its throat. It's like I can't, and I'm like, yes, you can. <laughs> like you will do it. <laughs> I have a perfectionist attitude when it comes to YouTube, and well, my viewers, you guys, because I want to give you guys the best. I want to get the best. I want to be the best <laughs> at what I do. And I'm constantly striving for that. Might be a little bit of an obsession, uh, an obsession. But it's just, it's just because of how strongly I want to keep improving and how strongly I want to give you guys and myself the content I want to make. Yeah, YouTube slays it ridiculously. <clears throat> uh, the thing is, though, you might not know, is... <clears throat> Jesus, sorry, my bad. Uh, and this isn't to chase you away from watching on YouTube, because I very much prefer people to watch me on YouTube than the other platforms. But I'm streaming right now, and I do, when I stream, stream to YouTube, yeah. Mixer, and Twitch, as well as DLive at the same exact time. So right now, like I said, I'm streaming to all four of those platforms Hello. at the same time. So people Waiting do get a choice to watch control. on the preferred platform. I myself do obviously prefer YouTube. It's the one that gives me watch time. It's the one that's the central hub. It's the one that gives me the most, well, money when I eventually get to being able to do that. Even though technically it's not a lot right now. Eventually it will amount to something if I keep growing, which I do hope to. Alethea? You've discovered Agamemnon's tomb. But it is the most rough when it comes to quality. Find the symbol she seeks. So, what now? Now is relative. With this information, will the heir open her eyes and unlock the symbol? She will now. So, do I just uh, wait here or something? Our task is already complete. What comes next, she must do on her own. I'm ready to meet the air now. When will I? Your understanding. <laughs> you do not know is that while you are yet to meet her, she already knows you very well. So, what do I do with this stuff? Keep it and let it keep you. The Keeper's task is to never succumb to death. All those you will ever know and all you will ever love will die. Then you will learn to love again and those oh, yeah. will die too. But you will remain. Damn! Easy enough. Altair 2, I have our next location. Well done. Where to? Agamemnon's tomb in Argolis. Agamemnon's. Agamemnon's. There we go. Agamemnon's. So I guess I didn't stay in that cave the entire time because she said I was going to learn to love Altair again two? and lose them all again, in. too. I'm getting good at this. There might be a second career in this. If Fucking this lights blinding. I still think this is a bad idea, Layla. We don't know the source of the radio interaction. Ah! Temporal discrepancies in the animus memories. Noted, Doctor. Layla out. What a find. What is it? And spoil the surprise? All I'll say is prepare to be amazed when I get back. God, it's so blinding. Those plates on the floor. I should be careful. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was enough time for them to retract back into the ground. <laughs> that was all me. Altair 2, found my way in. I'm God, good at this. I can't even there see when it's like that. If assassin isn't your thing. I still think this is a bad idea, Layla. We don't know the of the <laughs> well, I mean, they are spikes, so the one time in the game's actually realistic, right? What a find! I can't see. Ah! All I'll say is, prepare to Much be amazed when I get back. Those plates on the floor. I should be careful. Wait a minute. 
Hey, what's up, WixZTV? Is that you, John, or like, or is that Nick? Are you? Ah! God damn it! That's a <laughs> Bloom set to seventeen thousand three hundred forty thousand, right? God damn! Now I have to deal with that Bloom again. Wait, no, I don't. No, Alter no, two? I do not. Found my way in. I think I'm getting good at this. There might be a second career in this. It I'll just deal with the magic glowing I mushrooms. Still think this is a bad idea, Layla. We don't know the source of the radio interference, and there are temporal discrepancies in the animus memories. Noted, Doctor. Layla out. What a find! What is it? And spoil the surprise? All I'll say is prepare to be amazed when I get back. You know what I gotta try to figure out is the multi-track. Because I I gotta figure that out before Cyberpunk and Bloodlines 2 comes out. Must be some way over this thing. God, <laughs> I literally hate it. <laughs> the second symbol is close. You have done well to get this far, despite the interloper. The interloper? Do you mean Vic or someone else? <laughs> I really hope that the fate of Atlantis isn't completely surrounding Layla. Like, I really hope it's like. Wait, is it? Ah, shit, I'm in here. God damn it. Man. I only care about Alexios. Yeet! There we go. Okay, let's move this so we can actually get through that way. If we need to. There we go. Wait, is that not a hole I'm supposed to go through? That's very misleading. Hmm. Dead end. Uh, I like the first blade. The first blade game uh, DLC, all three together, right? As a whole. Really good. I like that. Uh, Fate of Atlantis, which is the only other DLC, the episode one through three, I have no idea right now. But as of right now, not leaving a good taste in my mouth because I just don't like like I said I just don't really care about Layla at all I mean to other people it might be interesting as hell because they like the modern day and they like Layla but I don't like her and I don't care about her and I don't care about the modern day so this is nothing but like painstaking like I'm feeling like I have to do this God damn, man. <laughs> Aha! Gotcha, bitch. Alright, this just leads us back to the beginning, I think. Wait, no, it doesn't. This is a cave, right? Does it? I'll throw these glow sticks so I know where I've come from. Exactly. I hear a hole up here. Up here! Can I not? Can I not? Oh wait, I can't hit! Yeah. Ah! 
Where's my Spartan kick at a time like this? God damn it. I guess that's a hole for Alexios to break through. Honestly, she was introduced in Origins, and I haven't even played Origins. Like, I played a little bit, but I didn't play a lot of it. Plates on the floor. And I, like I said, careful. just don't even care about her. From what I've seen in here, like, the biggest issue from what I've seen is there's so little of the main story in Origins. And, and I don't mean main story, but uh, the modern day time. Like, out of the 70 hours, 70 plus hours I put in this, I've spent probably two hours now in the modern time. There's no time for development. There's nothing keeping me interested in it. I don't like her character itself. It's just, there's just so much writing against it. Aha! That I just want nothing to do with it. Like, I, every time it came up, I was just like, I want to be, I want to avoid this. Oh, okay. That just leads me here. Aha! The second symbol. Another part of a constellation. Maybe they fit together. Alter it's like a, a bad movie you were forced to sit through, you know, or a, a class the back in high school that you just Ooh. didn't like and you Layla, just sat there the entire you, time like... You're breaking up. Did you say you found the second symbol? I did. And Alexios knows where the third is. I'm sure of it. I'm gonna dive back in. As your doctor, and as your friend, I insist that we stop this. We're not able to guarantee you're safe in there. The staff... The staff makes me immortal, Vic. I'll be fine. Layla, please. Just gonna stay there and watch me burn. I need more water. And I want a slice of pizza soon. But not yet. I hope the majority... Oh, you know... Wait, I think I'm still doing the Hair of Memories. This isn't the Fate of Atlantis DLC. I think. Let, let me please, 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 please tell me that this is the Hair of Memories. And it's not the fucking thing. Uh... God, it is the fate of Atlantis. Ew. Aw, oh, man, I was really hoping that it wasn't. Attica. Right there. Look, I've barely been to Attica. Uh, I, no, I started singing uh, Eminem song with Rihanna. Um, uh, I don't know what it's called. Hate the way you lie? I think that's what it is. West of Sacred Plain of Dementor. Or Demeter, not Dementor. That's Harry Potter. Sacred Plain. Yep. Wait, Sacred Plains of Demeter. Is that different? I don't think it is. This is Attica, right? Yeah. Oh, it's, it is different, see? I've actually been here. The t symbol is the Tower of Eticoles, which is probably right there, because I have not been there. Ah, okay, yeah. But yeah, I strongly, very strongly right now, as of the start of the Fate Out of Atlantis, will not like this as much if it is heavily tied with Layla. Right now, stating it for the record. I don't know if uh, I'll be streaming the entire thing, because I'm essentially just streaming it right now because I, I want to play this. I want to be able to beat it. I want to beat my games. <laughs> and it's an old game. There's not really a lot of pull for people to be watching it or anything. I don't have... I, I, I've explained it before, but I don't really have a lot of opportunities to make videos for it. I, my time for it had gone, but I still wanted to play it. So I'm dedicating myself to it, and I'm just kind of, when stream comes up, I dedicate my time to, well, ha allow people to hang out with me while I play it, because I don't have anything planned uh, otherwise right now. I want to be able to, you know, actually enjoy what I do and not force content out as well on the times that I don't have anything. I mean, I could easily, like, just push out a vampire video, but I want that to be a weekly thing. Let's move. 
because I still got like 10 to 10, 10 more clans I'm going to be going over, maybe more. Uh, I'll be going over every clan there is in the universe for it. Uh, at least the namesake. I'm going to tr try my best to do every single one of them. Because I don't know which ones are going to possibly appear or be mentioned in Bloodlines 2. Uh, but I want that to be a weak thing. Because we still got a long time until Bloodlines 2 comes out. And I don't know exactly how much video, like what my content is going to be after the clan videos for Bloodlines 2. Other than obviously when I get new information comes out, new gameplay video is released, etc. But... Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, I have yet to decide if I'm gonna dig through piece by piece every single thing. Like, I, I'm covering the clans to like the full extent, but I don't know if I'm gonna do all minor, like, clans, all minor factions, all minor things. Like, I have a lot planned, I just don't know exactly, like, everything that I- oh. You bitch. But yeah, I do have a lot planned for it. I just don't know, like, if it's not that time yet. I don't know what I'll do after. Like, if I get to the point where there's no more clans I want to go over, or am going to go over, what next? Keeper, Other the than the explanation, uh, information the that comes out. Seeks. Will the air rise to the task? I suppose she will. Because, I mean, well, I don't plan on going in and diving into all the world of darkness air, information. Which you cannot show her, Venus Though I have will. considered it a couple times. Venus. Like, I don't, I don't know. Oh. I, I do the plan on sticking around to the lights, too. Altair 2? I, or Alexios, has found the next location. Great work. Where to? The tomb of Ateocles. I think I found a way in. Wait, she say that she was gonna see Deimos? I know I've hit a lot of my goals for this year, which is good. Altair 2. Uh, remaining goals me? now is I want to be able to Leia. hit a hundred. Eh, let's say. Is coming from I'd like to hit 75 to 100 you Discord members like by the end of this year. It must be I'd to like staff. to hit 50 tier one uh, Patreon members by the end of this year. It almost reminds me of an erudito hacking algorithm. I'd recognize a hack. And I, I mean, I'll have to come up with other things because I've hit a lot of my goals. Matter. Well, I knew which order they go in. Hmm. You could try randomly guessing. There's not that many combinations. There's no guarantee I get two chances at opening the seal. After this, we're going back to Atlantis, and I'll figure something out. Yeah, I, d I definitely have some goals that I go to hit. I uh, have in stake that I really want to hit by the end of the year. I also have uh, to make new goals as well. Yeah, I'm. I, that's all I can do, right? Like that's all I plan on doing and have been doing. Just gotta keep working for it, you know. So and that's all well I'm gonna preserved. keep doing. It looks like the organic matter, the paint, the wood, none of it is aged today. The chemical composition of the air might act as a natural form of preservation. There are tombs all over the world where corpses are still heavier and nails intact, even millennia after burial. Let's talk about corpses after I'm out of here. No, 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 yes. No! Oh my god. And, they, and by the way, the goals aren't just aimless. They're all there for a reason. They're all like, once I reach these certain goals, I'll have like specific things I can do because of these goals. Like I like to, I like to plan ahead not just for my own benefit and happiness, etc., and excitement, but to also like 
plan where I'll be and what I can do with those goals as well. Incredible. These statues are in perfect condition. Those who paid homage here did so with their lives. Yeah! We are approaching the final symbol. If the Keeper doesn't know the order of the symbols, his sister will. The final How is symbol. my sister here? Another part of a constellation. They must fit together. Altar 2, can you read me? Okay, Layla, think this through. Outside the tomb of Ateocles, Alethea said Deimos would show me what the Keeper can't. But Dia said Ancestors Theodas didn't and was killed for it. The air is wise. Altar 2, come in, please. Layla, that you? Did you find the symbol? Three for three. We need to head back to Atlantis. In the meantime, let's ah! the symbols I found against known constellations. Consider the research plan B. What's plan A? Alexios knew where the symbols were, but not the order they go in. Alita thinks Deimos may hold that secret. We have her DNA. What? Layla, are you crazy? I'm not crazy. I'm committed, and you should be too. When I get back to Atlantis, I'm getting this done whether you're on my side or not. I don't want to play my sister. I killed that bitch. I heard, without spoiling it like this, I heard that there's like massive cliffhangers for each episode of uh, Fate of Atlantis leading up to like the last one. But if it's massive cliffhangers with Layla. <sighs> I've, been, I've spent so much time being her right now than I've spent in the entire base game. <laughs> Citizen Kane of DLC, what do you mean? I don't get what's being grasped here. Oh, cliffhangers are cool if they're done right, but not if it's with Layla. Are you Brisson? No talking until after we dance. I'm gonna make her a monster because that's how I want her to be. Your heart rate's accelerated and your body temp is almost 98 degrees. What's happening? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right. Everything's been great so far. I just don't want to flop as my last DLC, you know? Maybe you'll talk if I break your other hand. Oh, okay. Tell me what I want to know. Huh. First time I've seen an after effect of the animus be used so thoroughly. So she's blending with it. Corgan. Betty. Itira. Corgan. 
17. Layla, we're remote ending your session. Hey, thanks for subscribing, Mamu. Assuming you're here in the live stream. If not, then at least I called you out for it, you know? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I thought Gorgath. it was okay, I guess. Gorgath. I chose yes. Alexios I because know. I'm a guy. I identify I with bitch. it better. You had no right. I had to pull you out. Diving into Themos' mind almost killed And I'd like to roleplay myself in the situation and what I would do. He? Sigma, I'm opening fire. Doc, fall back. Kiyoshi's been hit. Altar 2, come in. God, Alter modern day Vic. acting sucks. Anyone? Can you hear me? Oh. Da, 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 da. I'd be completely okay if Layla died. But apparently she's supposed to bring balance to the force. Uh, wait, wrong game, and movie, and TV show, and comic. I mean, there's just so many of those. The great seal has waited long enough. I've. I, can't. I wasn't paying attention to what they were saying. I've seen inside Deimos's mind. I, I can't contact the team. The Animus isn't safe. She's so weak. The trials weak. of the air are just beginning. Yeah, let's make her pathetic. I don't want any of this. I'm no heir. I thought I could do this, but I can't. You must. Okay, Layla. Snap out I'm gonna of make it. you pathetic, because I don't like you! <laughs> All right, we do things your way for now. Talking stuff. Oh yeah, it's fine. Now, the air must call Everybody has their own way to play RPG symbol. games. Uh, uh, did you remember the uh, blah, 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 cliche, blah, blah, blah. Uh, 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 Attica! I a symbol from the tomb, but what was it Fathia said? Attica? No, that's not it? Okay. No, that's not it. See through the eyes of Themos. Hear through the ears of Themos. Itara! The symbol was the first I found, and the first name said by Fathia was Itira. The air recalls. She heard the names of the symbols and their order. Oh my god. Now, call out the name of the second. Uh, Korgath. It was this symbol, and the second name said by Fithias was Korgath. The air doesn't just experience memories, but holds them inside her. Do you see what I mean and by how bad this symbol. is, though? Men! I remember. Fithias somehow unlocked the order of the symbols, even if he didn't realize it. It was Itira, Korgath, Metin. Layla, can you hear us? Vic, you're alive. Sigma Why did Layla? Okay. The ship. Why did Layla have to completed. be the one to open this? Why he couldn't Le us. Alexios open it? It isn't the staff. Someone is intentionally I mean, he had all the tools. hacking our signal. I encrypted a new frequency for us, just to be sure. We need to go dark until we know it's Guess safe. Guess we gotta wait to Before find out. How are you? It's good to hear your voices. Listen, I've unlocked the Great Seal. Atlantis is open. Please. Don't go in until we know we can keep a secure connection. I want this as much as you do, but we need to do it together. I'm hearing you, Doctor. If Atlantis has waited this long, it can wait a little longer. Until then, while I'm down here, I'm safe. Call me when Kyoshi's back on his feet. He'll be glad to hear your voice. Oh. Until then, I'll tell you two is going dark. Uh, oh, that was the hair of memories unlocked. <sighs> I just don't want to play her. I like really want to like find out like how much I have to play of Layla for the Atlantis DLC because if it's just her the entire time, I don't even want to play it. Don't even want to waste my time. Anybody there? Victoria? Layla? Oh, nice timing. Looks like I've been able to establish a secure connection with polymorphic code. Hacker free. Good to have you back. How's Kyoshi? Heavy you breathing. Know him. <laughs> Resilient as ever. He wouldn't want you worrying. 
Wait, could you hear my heavy breathing, or are you just I can't believe those bastards found the Altair, too. Turns out our signal was being corrupted by the Juhani Altsoberg himself. I guess he was bored of playing Black Cross and tracking down the Juno cult. I should have known some desperate hacker from Erudito would flip on us. Their fingerprints are all over this. No way! Otso heard everything? If he tells the rest of the Templar that oh, okay. we're up to, we'll have every armed Absurgo goon on the planet after us. If Berg hasn't found you yet, we're still a step ahead. Then as long as I got you as backup, what are we waiting okay. for? Okay. <laughs> Let's see what this great seal is all about. Where's Victoria? You'll see. All right then. Here we go. This place is huge. Echo. These look like thrones of royalty. Ha! But who are the kings and queens? Hello, Leila. Heir of memories. We finally found each other. I guess rebels always find a way. Oh. It's nice to meet you in the flesh, Alethea. Or in the hologram? It was only a matter of time until our realities crossed in one way or another. It seems as though we're not alone. Victoria? What are you doing down She's here? She's a Templar! Leia. It was way too dangerous to let you do this alone. I wanted to keep an eye on things personally. Kill her! Who's this? This is Alethea, the voice from the staff I was talking about. Of the Isu, Victoria. <laughs> Can you believe it? I've had nothing but time to study the patterns of human speech, so I should sound less like a talking stick. Are you sure we can trust her? We have no choice but to trust her. She's the key to finding out more about the staff. It was always known to me that the heir of memories would embark alongside the Keeper, Alexios. You weren't in the plans, can I trust you? Of course you can. I'm her doctor, and I need to be here to keep an eye on Layla's vitals. She'll keep Wait, the heir of memories is going to embark on no a quest matter. alongside this Alexios? This is yours and Alexios's. Oh, because You'll need to build up the strength up to withstand the staff's corruption. As Alexios finds power to fuel both him and the staff, you too will feel that physical connection. So you want Layla to go in there? I don't think so. Who knows what exposure to even more first civ tech will do? Not me, Victoria. I'll go into the Animus and experience it as Alexios. Right, Alethea? Your journey starts at the same place the Keepers did. The Animus will show you his way through the simulations. If you're sure, Layla, we'll have to be extra careful. I'll be here to monitor you with her. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. It's like Google Wish VR. Yeah. I'm like so not interested in this. He shares blood with those who came before and is connected to the issue. I'm like massively disappointed in this DLC so far. Like I I know there'll be people there defending it left and right and maybe hating me for not liking the it, but shared, I'm just not happy with offered, what's happening right now. And the great seal will open for us. If you say so. Welcome, Keeper. You've entered the great throne room of Atlantis. What lies in this room are remnants of Isutech I've adapted in order for you to begin your journey. I'm sure you have questions. 
There's more I have to do. Always, Keeper. When the staff belonged to Pythagoras, he used it selfishly for knowledge. He was weak where you aren't. You will endure lifetimes until the heir of memories takes this burden. The only way to carry the staff's weight is to find the strength to wield it. You'll find that strength in Elysium. The underworld awaits, Keeper. The... what? I'm alive. If I'm alive, how can I come back from the underworld? These portals are simulations. They were made by me for you. In Elysium, you'll find power sources known uh. as Keeper's Insights. This will affect both the Keeper and the Heir of Memories. Moving forward in the underworld ah. will be essential to finding all the oh, sources okay, we're still of power. Here. You're asking for blind trust, Alethea. You pledged yourself to me and our common cause, Keeper. Never forget that I'm yeah. on your side. I never really I hold hopes on, like, came before control it, because fate. somebody was a writer or something Find like that. I always go in with a skeptical mind. Worth. I have high hopes Approach for Valhalla, when you're ready. but, uh, it could still turn out to be poop. Let's do a quick save. I'll do a te I'll do a thing now. I mean, I hope it doesn't. I don't think it will, but it still has the potential for it. As long as I don't repeat Atlantis DLC. Oh my god! No I have to do all now. those. Please tell me it's the all. Wait, one, two, three. Just three. Oh god! Please tell me I don't have to do all of them. This DLC is a storm fest. Join me in shitting on Atlantis. I just, I wish that like somebody was here who didn't care about spoilers, who could just look up how much time I have to spend with her. <laughs> this hurts. I just don't want something I don't like to be like my ending story with it, you know? You don't belong here. Oh shit, they got Medusa's powers!
Okay, let's go, you Atlantean scum. Yeah? I mean, no spoils, but... Are, are you saying, like, I really will, or I'm not gonna like it? Like, you're being sarcastic. Forty percent of episode one or forty percent of the whole thing? Uh, story better fucking be good because I'm playing it at a commitment. I'm not playing this out of joy. Every time I see Alexios, I'm like, ah, my soul is healing. No one stands up to Persephone's guards, let alone best them in battle. Tell me your name, or you're next. Ah, I'm Hermes. As you're holding my proudest creation, that means you're a descendant of Pythagoras. I know just why you're here. You need to harness its power. Now, your name. The staff calls me Keeper. But you can call me Alexios. What is this place? Keeper! A great name with a great journey ahead of you. This is the paradise of Elysium, presided over by the mighty Persephone herself. Elysium was a gift from her husband, Hades. This beautiful realm she crafted in her image is the only joy she gets from the underworld. She's his prisoner. But she's come into her role as queen with much aplomb. Elysium? The resting place of heroes. When I Damn. was a boy, I dream of seeing it with my own eyes. Then no! Why would Persephone attack me? Most rulers don't take the sudden invasion of a lone outsider lightly. Speaking of which, the appearance of a living human is quite unexpected. I'm supposed to go through trials and eventually leave this place. There was a great seal and uh, the staff talks. It's all very complicated. Allow me to explain. 
The staff is a gift, not a toy. It can be a key, a weapon, and a way to attain power until the very end of time. Here, you'll find a means to control it before it controls you. After that, there is a gate that leads out of Elysium. But the only way to it is through Persephone, and she'd never allow that. I need to get to that gate. Try talking to her. Who knows? Maybe she'll convince you to stay. Or you could find Nekati, Persephone's top advisor and closest friend. Or you could prove yourself. Prove myself how? Persephone sent guards because she's concerned. There are reports of lawlessness in Death Galeon's heritage south of here. <laughs> Why am I telling you all this? You said it yourself. It's very complicated. Elysia may look like paradise, but we all have our secrets. I'm thinking I go straight to Persephone. Not so fast. Give her some time to cool down. When you introduce yourself, you'll find her in her majestic Acropolis, perched high above the Asphodel fields. What can you tell me about my staff? I need to learn how to use it. Find my energy sources, the perceptions of Hermes, across Elysium to imbue both you and the staff with power. Only then are you ready to move onward. You can't wield the staff without them. Yeah. Are you certain there's nothing Literally, else you'd here's, like to Here's know? all of Assassin's Creed, the first played expansions, episode one through three, up to this point. Here's this one. Just like that. Get it. When you've sorted your affairs with Persephone, come see me in Minos's Fay. I look forward to hearing about your progress. I will. I almost forgot. I've invented just a thing for you flightless humans in Elysium. The wings of Erbis. Yeah. Go. Enjoy them. I want to fly. Now you just said I could fly. Wow, 121,000 XP. Oh, that. That lets me travel between the world I'm at and this one. That's the wings of Hermes teleporter. Use it. Okay. about that i think the game is pretty okay pretty decent in terms of the combat xp honestly i feel like the xp if anything should be scaled up a little bit as getting from the getting from the arc before the last one of the base game i had to do other things to level myself up to get to even get to be able to do the last arc effectively because the xp that was given to me wasn't enough by the time i got there so honestly, that's one area I think the XP could have been a little bit more. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, it's an RPG though. It's not based around realism. So I, I can understand that part. <laughs> hmm. That was it? Uh, was that, wasn't that the quest? Wait, where the hell is the... Uh... Uh, 
Um. What happened to the Atlantis quest? Go to the lost city. At least one of the worst influences is gone in my present anyway. Juno's power was immense. I never would have been able to transmit these recordings if she was still here. Oh, give me more reasons why you killed Desmond off. Juno. Dumb! Can't wait to the lost city. And here you're supposed to listen and be impressed by the precursor monument around you. They want to make sure you remember this island, no matter how often it was renamed Thera, Calista, Atlantis. Is this just tell me stuff? Precursor sites have often included an educational mandate aimed at humans. I'm sure you already realize these generous revelations are strategic. Ah. Fall asleep to this shit. That that was it. Where's Where are my uh Atlantis quests? Do I have to actually go in there to see it? I think I think that's what happens. Yeah, it does, right? It's up Hermes. I just, as of this moment, I don't understand how anyone could say this was the best expansion. The first Blade was way better than this in the first one. This is boring as shit. <laughs> the only part that was good is the... Uh, when you beat the Atlantis, and then you open this area, and you go to close to beat your father, and then it does the whole, like, shocking reveal that Alexios was alive that long. Boom! End! Right there. End game. Right there. That's where it should have ended. As of right now. Obviously, I don't know until I beat the rest of it. Uh, I definitely think once getting back into this, I'm going to save and then stop for tonight. I mean, I've been streaming for four hours. A lot longer than I initially intended with it. And it wouldn't be such a big deal how long I'd streamed if I was actually enjoying myself with the game right now. But I'm not. And in order to force myself through this, because I'm going to, because I need to see the parts that has Alexios, I need to take a break and then continue it tomorrow. Save twice, just in case. Okay. Ugh. I'm going to go eat a slice of pizza, and then I'm going to read some manga, relax, and fan write the story of every piece of Eden since the first assassin. That doesn't mean I can make a good story. <laughs> that that's true that's true uh thank you though for stopping by john just so you know i don't know if you already know but i do stream or release a video every single day at 5 p.m eastern standard time today was a little bit late because i was setting up with my uh dedicated stream computer slash recording and editing uh yeah i still got some things to tweak still got everything to sound and work with i do hope uh, the quality of the stream, audio and gameplay wise, uh, overall sounded great, looked great. If there was any issues at all, uh, this is the time to feel free to mention it. Um, yeah, I mean, if you are looking forward to more of, uh, this specific game, I can not play it early like I normally do, and then 
at 5 tomorrow, continue where I'm leaving off now. If you specifically want to be there for that, I can hold off playing it until then. Because to be honest with you, I don't care much about this one. So it's not like I really have the need or want to dive right in first thing as I wake up. Thank you. Uh, well, see, how I normally have it set up is that I would wake up tomorrow, and then I'd play all day until time to stream, and then I'd just start the stream and chill with you guys or whoever stops by from whatever point I'd reach till then. But honestly, if you're like, I want, I'm going to be here tomorrow, I want to continue, I'll sit there and I'll, I'll wait. I'll read manga and do other things because, like I said, I'm not too excited about it. I mean, I do want to finish it because of dedication towards Alexios, and I want to see where that goes with him. But other than that, I don't care about it enough to be like, yeah, no matter what, I'm going to play it, and then you'll see where I am when I get to five. Uh, oh, no, I'm, I'm going to be playing this. It's just the difference is, is basically I'm saying, like, if you want me to wait to continue it till tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then I'll start it then like I normally do my stream. So I you can continue seeing from, well, this point where we just paused and saved it. Tomorrow, when I start the stream, we'll be starting it from there on. Or if you just don't care, and if I decide to start it earlier. I might just wait anyways till 5 p.m. to start it again. Because like I said, not too excited about this DLC. But uh, basically, I'm just asking your opinion because if you do, I'll just solidify it. Okay, uh, then I'll see what I'll do tomorrow then. If I feel like playing it earlier, I will. If not, then I'll wait till 5. Either way, I will probably be playing this at 5. I feel like if I do feel like I'm going to get close to the end uh, by 5, if I do play it then, I will wait to play that portion at 5 because I don't have anything planned, like I said, for release on it right now. But anyways, thank you for hanging out with me. I do hope you enjoyed for everybody who is watching, and this means on all platforms, as well as who's watching afterwards, thank you guys for watching through this suffering with me. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, or follow, depending on the platform you're watching on. And then maybe think about joining the Discord with the link below in the descriptions so that you can be a part of the Discord community, talk to me off stream, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, as long as I'm not busy, obviously. And then maybe, just maybe, joining my Patreon community as one of the six tiers I have. Uh, honestly, even if it's just the first tier, it means a lot. I appreciate the support. And you guys just hanging out here, hanging out with me. It's a lot of fun. And I hope to see you guys in future videos. And I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for stopping by.